Hello, it is I, once again, the Bruce Wayne of Azure Lane, back at it again for yet another Azure Lane live stream. Man, I went to Prague. I had a good time in Prague. Um, let me get my let me get my chat up and running here for a second. Yeah, so I was traveling. Wow, that is. I mean, you can see that, but it's bright. Okay, I, I, I need to change this again. Uh, which button inverted it? Uh, nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Huh. Subtract. There we go. We back. There we go. Back to the good old, good old stream Roni. Yeah, and Sneaky Snake is already in the building. He says, hello, Mr. OG. Hello, Sneaky. How's your day? Yeah, I was in Prague, and it was very nice. Um, I gotta say, there was no way I could bring my gaming laptop on that trip. That could have been that, like, I, psh, I was out traveling using every bit of or every opportunity I had to see stuff. Mm. OK, dang, I'm just checking. I'm currently grinding US jets. <laughs> All right. Nice. I will go to Turkey this summer. Oh, that's awesome. I was in Turkey only once. And I was not there for very long. I was in Alanya. And this was this was years ago. Man. Turkey Turkey was very okay, I went there in the summer, so it was perfect time to go. It was very warm. Man. I missed that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, by the way, um, okay, so I have found a way to auto world 15 it has been going quite well did i just okay damn i should not have done that i needed that oil <laughs> i might have needed that oil but the good news is there's probably more in supply i could buy oh this is perfect number one resource i need readily available i don't really want anything else from the shop at the moment so I'm like, all that stuff, I will find a way to collect later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Military deployment? Oh, no, no. No, uh, I was, uh, actually just doing journalism. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Metal Core Attic is in the building says hi how you been lately haven't seen you for a mother more yes i was traveling i traveled to prague maybe i should post some pictures in discord man prague was nice i was like dang oh by the way i need to i need to show you all my fleet oh corindus is in the building it says hello oj <laughs> oj <laughs> oj man r.i.p oj by the way shout out to oj simpson i mean I know the guy, what the guy did was wrong, and he probably shouldn't have gone off, but I mean, yeah, he was famous. He was like spoken of in circles everywhere <laughs> for a long time. He was an icon for a very long time. And uh, yeah, OJ, the Mr. Juice is gone. <laughs> it hasn't been months. Well, it's been, let's see, it's been years, my bad, Solid Snake. <laughs> What were you journalizing about? Oh, I was actually journalizing about the Q Resort. Yeah, I was at the Q Resort. It was all, it was an all, overall good experience. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, my fleets, my main two fleets, as in my main mobbing fleet and my main Eagle Union fleet have once again changed Excuse me. I was still playing some Azure Lane when uh, this was happening. And um, yeah, I finally figured out a way to auto 
15-4, but my way. And I use this fleet right here, and it's all thanks to Ditto's Augment, or Dido, excuse me. Dido's Augment is surprisingly powerful. And uh, let, let, let me phrase that. It's surprisingly perfect for allowing uh, her and Queen Elizabeth to actually be useful in a Royal Navy fleet. Once again, it matches the power curve. Sneaky try kebab in Turkey is brutal. Oh gosh, is it spicy? I actually did not try the kebab. What was brutal to me was actually the Turkish coffee because they give you the Turkish coffee and it's in like a shot glass. And I was like, man, I heard so many things about how powerful and wonderful Turkish coffee is, but this shot glass was unimpressive when I first saw it. And then I drank it and it felt like my heart was turned into a nuclear reactor for about three hours. That was some powerful, powerful stuff. Yeah, never, Turkish coffee is no joke. Anyway, so, um, actually, I'll just let you all know. I'm going to be autoing 15-4 today, and this is the fleet I'm going to auto it with. And I have found this fleet works absolute wonders. Um, yeah, it may not look like much, but wait and see what happens. <laughs> How's it brutal? It's just kebab. <laughs> so um, here's the deal. Okay. I still have Unicorn and Perseus as my healers, and Bologna is my main buff to both of them, mainly because um, she has this nice anti-air buff, which you're going to need in World 15. And then she has Air Raid Assistance, which is still the best carrier buff out of any van that any Vanguard ship can have. And then Dido, who with this augment, by the way, um, she gets her for the queen plus or, or um for the queen skill upgrade to for the queen plus when the battle starts for each royal navy ship in your fleet increases this ship's firepower aa and reload by 15 percent can be stacked up to two times so that's 30 percent increase just by sorting her with two other royal navy ships that's a 30 percent increase in firepower aa and reload which is astounding that's astounding. See, when sorted with Queen Elizabeth, increases Queen Elizabeth's firepower, accuracy, reload, and EVA by 7% and increases her and this ship's main gun crit rate by 20%, which is also insane. So um, here is the deal. Oh, wait. Let's see. In my country, Turkish coffee is normal traditional coffee. Here, if you don't know how to make it, you're crazy then. It's strong indeed. Yeah, that, that was some strong coffee. My OG, how far are you with U.S. Air? Right now? I'd wager about a... F I don't know. 15-hour flight? I don't know. Maybe 15 hours. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but anyway. So, uh, keep in mind, Queen Elizabeth also buffs Dido. But, um, and buffs her reload. But... If you have a 30% increase in reload and you slap this thing on her, um, she becomes an anti-submarine monster. And then on top of that, um, I have equipped this thing to her, which gives a further buff to Queen Elizabeth. So uh, when equipped by any other Royal Navy ship with every odd numbered volley Queen Elizabeth fires, she enters work mode, increases all your Royal Navy ships damage dealt by 8%. For eight seconds after this effect ends, Queen Elizabeth enters rest mode, and when she enters rest mode, she gains 3% of her max HP back, which is also awesome. And then I gave her this gun, which gives Dido a special ghost gun, a special ghost AA gun. So uh, Dido, I'm going to absolutely maximize the absolute use I can get out of Dido in this clearing. And then um, Plymouth, has a buff for battleships if your flagship is a battleship. So that's Queen Elizabeth receiving two actually very powerful buffs. Um, keep in mind, Queen Elizabeth herself is still not very strong. So uh, I did give her the Mark 7. Um, with this gun, she can stop suicide boats. And with this gun and two air performance radars, um, she's going to need them to survive the incredible anti-air. But her skill will buff... 
Um, I think now I cannot, I can't really see which one's better in terms of buffing the fleet. Um, if it's Hood or Queen Elizabeth when it comes to buffing the carriers for reload, because that's what you really need um, for these carriers to keep healing the vanguard so they don't die. And also the back line, especially, so they don't die either. Um, and But the thing is, um, Hoods only goes, gets a astounding reload after she fires. Queen Elizabeth's 15% uh, is constant. It, it does not change. And I'm thinking that might actually be better. Um, having said that, I have these two awesome Royal Navy officers, which are absolutely perfect for this clearing. So this pound. Okay, look at all this. Look at all this. This is this is awesome. So CBLs, 20 AVI. Queen Elizabeth, she's going to get uh, a benefit from this skill. So one EVA, which on a battleship goes far. And then on top of that, all the Royal Navy gets this buff right here. So three EVA, 15 firepower, 16 AA for everybody. And then Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth gets another firepower HP buff. And then, of course, Forest Serenity, which is probably the most useful uh, officer skill for clearing World 15. And that's not the half of it. I have another officer with Forest Serenity. So I got two of them. And I have this one has Mountain's Tenacity, which so has 3% damage reduction. Royal Navy ships get um, like the other Royal Navy buff. So two Royal Navy buffs for this fleet. Another EVA buff for Queen Elizabeth and then more AVI. So this these two me officers are perfect for this fleet. Probably as perfect as you could possibly get. Yeah. And on top of that, um, this is my new Eagle Union fleet, which was actually spawned out of necessity for uh, the fact that I have been doing the PvP and it has gotten vicious. And my last fleet, uh, ever since, okay, ever since Sovietsky Soyuz got introduced, my last fleet was getting decimated by Sovietsky Soyuz. Yeah, and all these ships, the, these three right here are the new, it seems like the new meta for PvP. And terribly, like, well, what's terrible is that they're fast, but what's good is that they're all light armor. So actually, I could show you how this PvP fleet is going to work because um, I could I could mop the floor with this fleet as it is right now. OK, this is the same fleet that's going to serve as my anti boss fleet for. Uh, well, World 15 4. So Guam, same thing. Not much has changed here. Laffy 2, same configuration. Not much has changed. Nothing has changed really. Um, Anchorage, I gave her the HE gun because, uh, like I said, the the now the new Vanguard, you know, technical meta of PvP is all light armor, and um, Anchorage doesn't actually do that much damage, but she can damn sure sink some destroyers and light cruisers with this Unzin gun. She can wreck them. And then I also I am using this thing. The RPG Adventure interface is actually quite. I mean, if it works, it, some, something good is bound to happen, no matter what you do with it. With US, I meant air tech tree. Oh, I understand. See, I need a tech tree vehicles that I can grind. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then, um, okay, so this is my new configuration for Enterprise. I have replaced Independence, who was my longest serving PvP Eagle Union. Actually, Eagle Union main fleet, like boss fleet and... Eagle Union PvP fleet ship. Um, Independence just could not cut it. Finally. Um, but Enterprise can. Especially if... Okay, like I said, the, the main problem now for Vanguards is all light armor. And Enterprise with the AD-1 Sky Raider is incredible. Incredible, incredible at killing light and medium armor. Um, and on top of that, this thing surprised me. Um, okay, let me show you something. Let me show you something that I think is baffling. Look at like, so I called this the baguette bomber and I used to joke that it was just okay. Uh, but if you compare this, okay, I'm going to go to the wiki because y'all, th this actually 
is the only thing that convinced me to actually spend the gold parts to upgrade this to plus 13. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Okay. So let's say you have a carrier, and that carrier has strong dive bombers or fighters, but is less oriented on torpedoes. Like it's slacking in the torpedo bomber department, which Enterprise is that kind of carrier. Um, Cause she has, I mean, her torpedo efficiency is, the, the, all her efficiencies are evenly spread. Okay, y'all can see this, right? There we go. Um, her, her torpedo efficiencies are evenly spread, but she has three fighters, three dive bombers, and only two torpedo bombers. And I'm trying to get Enterprise to launch those dive bombers as fast as possible. Where is Anchorage's top? Uh, that is a very good question, and I do not have the answer for you in that particular skin. <laughs> huh. Which is, in all honesty, not too much of a problem. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, okay, check this out. Um, when it comes to reload, so the Baguette Bomber has the second fastest reload out of all the torpedo bombers, um, but it launches intercepts like a fighter. However, it has, look at this, the same crash damage as both the Fairy Spearfish and the Wyvern, which means if you come across an enemy carrier in a uh, PVP and your, your carrier launches fighters with this thing, the fighters will still fly over there and um, do crash damage. So, and uh, if you encounter any enemy aircraft, immediately this thing does, you, you know, some instant crash damage because it's going to launch intercepts like fighters. And the crash damage is not small. This is, this is big and its reload is fast. So this is perfect for a carrier, who, which is not torpedo bomber focused, but is somewhat... Oops, hang on a second. There we go. But is somewhat... Like, has, has really good fighters and dive bombers. And I'm picking this thing because this thing also does crash damage, but is like the fastest reload. It's, it's the best balanced plane for fighters. But yeah, the goal is to launch this as fast as possible. And then, um, uh, Kearsarge and New Jersey. Um, I did give her the dragon or the damage control unit because she does have a problem getting deleted in a lot of cases. And this will keep her alive long enough to just shoot one, shoot one salvo. But yeah, watch. I'm going to fight this meta fleet and you'll see what happens. Check this out. Now, I haven't won every single one, but I have won more than I have lost. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, the problem is light armor now. Even I could not see that twist coming. Yeah, as you can see... Yeah, I ripped up the dan ripped up the Vanguard quite fast. Oh, they're still going, actually. They're still kicking. It's mainly because of Laffy, too. Yeah. There we go. Okay, see, they devastated the back line in no time. And I'm still, you know, I still got Kearsarge, Laffy, and Enterprise all together. So maybe the meta ain't so meta now, huh? <laughs> Take that, meta fleet. That guy was a higher level than me, too. Um, you know, no shade to him. I'm just, you know, showing I can fight some of these meta fleets with a purely Eagle Union fleet. Yeah, so the, the French Baguette Bomber. Huge surprise to me huge surprise and i'm just gonna see if i can find another meta ish type fleet because um i mean i'm mainly trying to showcase this fleet against meta fleets i believe this fleet is better than any meta fleet currently because i have been able to fight them all and still win with this and eh, it's not it's not quite it's not quite one more roll oh this one looks powerful uh, no, 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 no. You know, I'm going to fight this one just because it looks powerful. I'm going to see what happens. 
up, OG and chat? How was your day? FBI is in the building. Everybody act cool. And my day is going very good, FBI. How was your day? Still need to get my ship Arkengelsk. You know, I like Arkengelsk, and I think it's because uh, she was made by the same artist that made Biloxi. Yeah. I was like, Arkengelsk is also my very much my type of ship gal, if I do say so myself. Oh wow, I cleaned out, I cleaned house with this one. Well, dang. Got two Kronstadt. My first pull. Well, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Enterprise is killing it with those uh, French baguette torpedo bombers. The fact that the, the torpedo bo the baguette bomber does the same crash damage as the wyvern, while also launching intercepts just like the wyvern, to me is baffling. That's the that's the shining quality of that plane. <laughs> Yippee, a stream, we ballin' in style! Oh, what is up, HMS Hanson? How's your day? Yeah, it's been so long since I even played PvP. You know, I've been I've been fooling around with PvP, and yeah, I think I finally, um, this fleet right here so far has been able to beat every fleet I've come across. I mean, I, has, has a fluke happened and I lost, of course, but... So far, all, I've ran into all the meta fleets with this fleet, and I've beaten all of them. I'm like, meta is unimpressive to me now. Oh, this is a good one right here. Oh yeah, this is a good one. And he's he's a little bit higher level than me. Okay, not that one. Okay, also not that one. Okay, I'm gonna fight this guy. Actually, this one could hurt me. Uh, okay, we could see. We're, we're gonna see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Archangelus is Biloxi's sister. I'm a taker then, since I can't have Biloxi. You know, that's fine with me. I still I still prefer Biloxi to Archangelus. Oh, wait. Uh, I got all from Krom's Banner. 40 pulls in tickets. New collab event in May or rerun collab. Hope it will be interesting. Huh. That's actually very good. Like, for 40... Yeah, for 40 pulls, that's a very good... That's, that's a good win. Hells yeah. Oh man, dang. Okay, it looks like I'll probably... Okay, I don't know if they're gonna gonna win this now. This is getting interesting. Okay, okay, no, never mind. I'm, uh, it looks like I'm gonna win this. It's like now, now that I got to the back line and they're all low health. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, Enterprise didn't even get that final airstrike. In. Enterprise was all, all prepped up and ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, and New Jersey is killing it. Yeah, this Eagle Union fleet is monstrous. Okay, I have only one more left. So I'm going to see if I can find another one of those meta fleets. Uh, nope. Mm, everyone here is lower level than me. I want to find someone higher level. Oh. Uh, um, hmm. Uh, hmm. That, that could be interesting. That could also be interesting. Okay. Okay, this one looks very interesting, but I'm going to hit the roll dice one more time. Oh, the same dude is here. Okay, that's funny. You roll it, and he, he shows up again. Uh, That one is kind of close. Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay, this one... This one kind of fits the build. I think. But he's a lower level than me. One more time. Oh, I'm out of refreshes. Okay. This guy is a higher level than me, and they're all old, so I'm going to fight this guy. And he has Sovietsky Soyuz, so this will be interesting. I'm going to see what happens. Good, still traumatized from the cardinal sin that is AL HMS Anson. Oh, man, that was criminal. That I have never seen, like, I mean... That was that was legitimately art that I would consider criminal. And like all these all these classy, beautiful King George the Fish class, you know, ship girls, and out of nowhere, HMS Anson just walking in like some homeless person off the street at a at a giant party <laughs> with all the all the like, you know, entourage of all the most the the, the 
the it was like the I don't know the UN showed up. <laughs> mm. Oh man, okay, this is ugly. Well, Enterprise's skill activated, so I don't know if I'm gonna win this one now. <laughs> okay, damn. Okay, if Enterprise can get that second strike in and knock out Musashi, which she has a fast reload, it'll work. It'll work. Okay, I, okay, it's gonna work. Okay, that worked only because Enterprise's skill activated that that second time. Okay, cool, cool. Not a bad fight. But yeah, so this fleet is my new setup, and now I'm going to auto World 15. Okay. And World 15. Okay, um, hmm. One more thing I'm going to do here. Mm -mm. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, just to give as much AVI as possible to this fleet. Okay. Alright, I, I hope this is... This seems like it's going to work. And then a roll. Actually, escort. Flagships. Auto call subs, and I'm just gonna have it hit once just to see how it goes. All right, let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that HMS Anson thing that was criminal, that was some truly dastardly stuff right there. I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe that was a Queen Elizabeth or you know, a King George V class. After we got all them classy ship girl ladies. We should be having the next UR event around the end of May for the CN server anniversary. Okay. The damn backlash was instant. <laughs> yes, it was. That that backlash and the, the reaction to the backlash was almost just as swift. Which, um, actually, I like the fact that um, they turned it... Wow, Queen Elizabeth is almost already dead. My goodness. She has a chance at recovering her health here, though. Like I said, she has three heals working on her using the, you know, the Queen Elizabeth itinerary that Ditto's carrying right now. And then Perseus and Unicorn. She just can't afford to get taken out by battleship guns. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, she barely survived that one. See, this is the problem. When it comes to Queen Elizabeth in this fleet, these large battleship fleets are murder. Just absolutely atrocious. She'll recover this health, I think, if she has time. Yeah, it restored my faith in AL that they decided to remove that HMS Anson and immediately rework the design. Restored a lot of my faith in AL. <laughs> Let's see. AKA the we should be having the next two more. Oh, I already read that. Let's see. I got Hindenburg and Kearsarge at Death 30. Now to wreck PvP fleet. Oh, okay. Alright. That's how you do it. Hindenburg is quite good in PvP. Kearsarge, to me, seems to work a little bit better than, like... Okay, it's mainly because she hits twice. That airstrike and the main gun hitting hitting twice with, like, the full force of SSR at level, you know, airstrike and main gun at least is still very powerful. Justice is in the building, says hello OG. Hope's your day, Justice. It's weird that I use Helena in PvP fleet and I destroy every player. Well, well I mean Helena okay, Helena is still if you use her, you know, if you use if you time your uh, attack right when her skill activates, she's still the best support ship in the game. That 40% debuff to or you know, forty percent damage buff to your fleet, technically. Yeah. That's still that's still extremely good. Extremely 
good. Yeah, see, I'm like, Queen Elizabeth now only has about... Uh, she's recovered like half of her health, but if my fleet can keep knocking out the planes before they can get to the back line, and she might recover all this health. So she'll go from zero back to 100. I mean, not technically zero, but she was at like less than 10% health earlier. She got brutalized. Hmm. Oh, this is good. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, by the way, I did not know that the Czech Republic... I did not know this before I left, but I found out when I got there. Um, the Czech Republic actually, actually makes more different kinds of mead. Um, you know, alcoholic honeyed wine mead than any country in the world. And I showed up just in time to take part in a mead taste test. So, I am a mead connoisseur now, by the way. I am. I have drank so much mead. I drank 20 different kinds of mead there within a span of two days. I was so happily drunk. <laughs> it's the happiest, it's one of the happiest states of drunk I've ever achieved in my life, and I'm very proud of it. I, I will carry that memory with me for the rest of my life until the day I die. It's beautiful, totally beautiful. Helena and PvP fleet and destroy every plane. Oh wait, I already read that. Um, every World 15 is played. The sudden request for AA shells just increased by 60%. AA shells. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just hope the design gets used for a sub instead. Maybe HMS Sunfish. You know, if they made that, like that would as okay as much as like let, let me make this clear. I want no more lollies in Azure Lane, but if they made that a submarine design, to me, it would have been more just, eh, this is, this is what I, this has been the norm in AL for the last couple of years. I, I wouldn't have batted an eye at it. I'd be like, uh. But yeah, I could see them making it a sub design and it would be funny if while she's a sub design, she references, you know, HMS Anson. Like, HMS Anson, I had a strange dream where I was you. Like, that would be funny. <laughs> if the, if her, de, her um, whatever submarine design she gets slapped on suddenly starts saying stuff about, you know, having strange dreams of being HMS Anson and all the Queen Elizabeth sisters, or uh, not the Queen Elizabeth, the King George V sisters, uh, pummeling her into the ground. <laughs> that would be funny. I would do that if I was in, if I was working for AL. Calm down, OG, with the 300k coin, bro. Oh yeah, um, I have not had very much recently to spend these coins on. So I mean, every now and then I'll just grind, and I'll still have these coins just laying around, and I never um, I never buy anything with them. So now, when the next UR kicks around. Hopefully, I will have 300 and looks like 342k right now. I'll, hopefully, I'll have over 350k coins, and I'll be able to just knock out the all the you know the whole builds video in like the span of less than 10 minutes. Hopefully, I'll get the URs and everything within the span of 10 minutes. <laughs> have to get going. Have a great stream, everyone. All right, take it easy, Corindus. Glad to have you. Bye, Corindus. Or make her interact with the other. I mean, the proper HMS Anson. Yeah, that would be funny. If they they give us proper HMS Anson. Hmm. I know there's some people that like that HMS Anson design. That I'm not one of them. Hmm. I was like, that design had to go. <laughs> Yeah, that would be funny if she in interacts with proper HMS Anson. We get a new HMS Anson design, and that Anson's like, Really? You had a dream of being me? Strange. I can't imagine where that would come from. <laughs> OG, it's the end of May. 
Oh, so OG, oh, if you're gonna grind, be I'll be 900k coin. Oh, that's possible. We're 1.2 million. If I have 1.2 million coins, yeah. Um. Oh. Oh wait, I could spend it in the guild shop. I actually may have a place to spend these coins. Hold on a second. I could increase my maximum. Yeah. By the way, I drank so much meat in um in uh, the Czech Republic. I now have like a huge, you know, I have like a huge craving for mead. Only mead. No other alcohol. It was just that good. They had a mead mixed with some white dry wine. And it tasted like the perfect mix between mead and white dry wine. And it was so delicious. And they had another mixed with uh, blackberries. And raspberry. And I was like, I have never seen such a wide range of delicious meat. That was life changing. That was a very life changing trip. And I still don't have Houston, by the way. Houston 2, I mean. But I get, end up getting Houston 1 all the time. I'm like, you know, close, but no cigar from this, this uh, map. All right. Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, so. Normally, if it's a battleship fleet and it's the last clearing, sometimes Queen Elizabeth doesn't make it. And if she doesn't make it, the whole fleet goes kaput because, you know, she's flagship. All right, I hope this works. See, my boss fleet can without a doubt easily kill the boss. But uh, this right here is the hardest fight, is the last mob clearing before the boss. Hardest fight of this clearing. Up oh, here are the battleships. Okay, so if Queen Elizabeth can survive this. And it doesn't look uh, ooh, that, that 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 looks vicious. It's like I'm scot free. You know, home free. And she got hit by a suicide boat. Oh. Okay, this is getting hairy. Oh, damn, she ain't gonna make it. Oh. Oh, man, okay. She ain't gonna, she ain't gonna make it. Damn, oh. So close. Yeah, this, okay. Anytime Queen Elizabeth is faced with a battleship fleet, as the at the last clearing, it just doesn't work. I'm like, ah. All right, my fleet, my the thing, the good news is my Eagle Union fleet can finish this anyway. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Um, Enterprise, by the way, having such high reload using that French fighter, and on top of that, the pirate squadron for her fighters. She's a whole anti-air monster all on her own. She launches. That's five fighters. All being launched in rapid succession. Yeah. Even at this stage. Like, I know they got, that. like, my fleet got a little messed up on that second round. But they'll still kill the boss. See, next time I auto-clear, I just have to make sure it's not... Or, uh, well, I can't technically make sure because it's auto. But I need to make sure, or watch... Queen Elizabeth's uh, fleet instead hit a carrier fleet or a destroyer fleet. You know, destroyer slash cruiser fleet. Well, 
Okay. Hmm. All of that is perfect in time. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Enterprise. Enterprise out here killing it. I find it amazing that they still really haven't tweaked her in any way. She has no retrofit, no augment, and she is still quite possibly the best carrier in the game still. <laughs> uh, they all knew what they were doing with Enterprise. It's like they got her the uh, like they they got her on point. On point from the beginning. Still cleared it. All right. Easy as pie. All right. Let me try auto clearing this one more time. If the last ship or the last fleet attacked is not a battleship fleet, it'll work. It'll work. Damn. Oh, I also need to check one more thing here. Okay. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully, maybe, I will finally get Houston 2 because I have run through. 15-4, countless amount of times already, but my luck with getting Houston 2 has been atrocious. It's been horrible. It's been very profitable, unlike the implacable scenario. The, the implacable event was still my worst Azure Lane event so far. <laughs> still my worst one. different kind of uh, mead here. This one in a different bottle. Hmm. Yeah, this one's almost empty. It's quite good, though. I feel like a Viking drinking this stuff. The Dark Age has never ended. Okay, Queen Elizabeth gets clobbered by these battleship fleets. That's like her one weakness now. See, I have tried putting the VH armor plating on her, but then the fighter skitter, the, the planes, and it seems to me that the planes are still the most important threat. Oof. That was that was close. That was too close for comfort. Hmm. Oh, yo, Kieran, about this, you are, I know it indeed, end of May, start of June, but still they will put collab events soon in May as usual. Most likely rerun, but I don't know, maybe Hollow Live. It would be great. Hollow Live. Okay. If they bring back I, I wonder if they're gonna bring back Hollow Live. I know there's a lot of people that really want that Hollow Live gear, mainly because uh, how effective it is on Laffy 2. That Hollow Live gear is so effective on Laffy 2. It's no joke. The Ox gear, I mean. Dang. I find am it's amazing that all the battleship, all, all the rounds, all the attacks that go to my backline, it's like they all just go straight to Queen Elizabeth. Y'all notice this? Unicorn and Perseus have gotten barely any damage, and everything concentrates on Queen Elizabeth. Her health is still low. My goodness. Mm. Oh, gee. 
Tell me your thoughts about naval battles in War Thunder. I never tried the game. I love Warships games. I try it maybe when I get time after work sometimes. Is it worth it? I'll just say this. Um, have you played World of Warships? Because uh, naval battles in War Thunder feels like World of Warships, but watered down so, so bad. Um, I loved World of Warships. Because of how normal I got used to the very fun combat in World of Warships, uh, I actually find it extremely difficult to play War Thunder's naval combat. War Thunder's naval combat is frustrating. It's, it feels, everything feels so slow. Damn, they killed Queen Elizabeth again. It's like she, okay, she runs into a battleship fleet and then it almost exclusively targets her. Do I have one of these? Yeah, I'm gonna try using this. And uh, see if I can get this to work again. All right, here we go. One more time, one more try at this. Yeah, I know it's technically not a try now because I gave, you know, Queen Elizabeth a whole, you know, you know, rejuvenation. But still. I'm gonna laugh if Queen Elizabeth suffers hardly any damage this round. Because that proves it's just really bad chance. Okay, there we go. Now she's getting hit. And all the battleship fire focuses exclusively on her. Exclusively. It's like they don't want no other ships. Hmm. Well, dang. Yeah, get him, Queen Elizabeth. Get him. Okay. How good is Elizabeth's auxiliary item? Okay, um, do you mean the uh, the itinerary or, um, because what I have Queen Elizabeth equipped with right now is two air search race, air, uh, is it high performance air radars? And, uh, those are, those are supposed to be the best gear you can put for anti-air on a ship. But if you mean her her uh, Queen Elizabeth's itinerary thing. Uh, it's good if you slap it on another ship that's not Queen Elizabeth. Because, um, yeah, if you put it on Queen Elizabeth, um, she just goes into rest mode and recovers H or you know recovers HP. But if you put it on another ship, she gets this very nice damage boost to the rest of the fleet. And then she also recovers 3% of her HP. Yeah, she got three heals working on it right now. Three. That is no joke. That aux item to me is actually very good. It's a very good auxiliary item. But don't put it on Queen Elizabeth. Put it on another Royal Navy ship in the same fleet. And it's got a little bit of EVA, so it's not bad to put on whatever ship you have in the middle. Like, it won't, it'll hurt your survivability, of course, as opposed to the dishwasher. But not too bad. Okay. Might be able to clear this one. Maybe. We'll see. Bruh. <laughs> You're like, bruh. OG, what muses do you want announced this week? <clears throat> I 
Wait, muses for, uh... Muses, muses for what? Like, which, which muse? I have not been paying attention to the muses, actually. Queen Elizabeth 2, let's go. Oh, goodness. Please, no. Just retrofit Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, if Queen Elizabeth got a retrofit that brought her up to SSR levels of performance... She would be a revolutionary ship for Royal Navy. Oh, damn. Just went into the battleship fleet. Oh. This could get ugly. Hmm. Man, okay, I don't know. The news event is coming live stream Friday. Oh, okay. Hmm. Huh, oh, I have to I'll have to tune in for that one. Not SSR OG. You are Queen Elizabeth II, like Yorktown too. Oh no. Just just retrofit Queen Elizabeth. Because, you know what the thing is? Um, I love... Okay, so I love Bismarck Spy. But, I was always hoping they would retrofit OG Bismarck. Because OG Bismarck is a carrier buffer. Damn, this, this fleet is viciously getting pounded. Viciously ab getting abusively pounded by battleships. Ah! Oh no. Queen Elizabeth! Ah, shoot. Okay. I need to rework this fleet. Okay, hang on a sec. Let me try something different. Man, it is actually performing very poorly today. Because I have used this earlier today and it was fine. Huh. Okay, so I have three options. One... High performance hydraulic steering. Two. I already tried this, it didn't work. And it was terrible. Um, two. VH armor plating, which I already tried and was terrible. Hydraulic steering, it is. Oh, yeah, but were you talking about this thing? The Her Majesty's Top Secret Itinerary. Yeah, this thing right here is actually very good. Highly, highly recommended for use with Queen Elizabeth. But on another Royal Navy ship, that's not her. Okay, so let me see how this works. This might, this might actually do something nice. We shall see. We shall see. That Queen Elizabeth retro is kind of like Nimi Oathskin. Maybe someday, maybe. Well, they were saying that about North Carolina's bunny skin once. And she did get the bunny skin. And Nimi did get an O skin, didn't she? Yeah. There is reason to have high hopes. Queen Elizabeth got a retrofit, I could finally have decent, full retrofit HMS fleet. Yeah. I'm just saying, if Queen Elizabeth got a retrofit, she'd be revolutionary for the the Royal Navy fleet. Whole different ball game for them. Because um, their faction fleets currently are okay. But uh, nothing compared to either... The Iron Blood, Soccer Empire, or Eagle Union faction fleets. I would actually say they might have the weakest 
uh, they're out of all the factions, best faction fleets, Queen, um, the Royal Navy might have the weakest. And it's actually just because of Queen Elizabeth. Maybe not just because of Queen Elizabeth. I'm sure you could make other other fleets, but Queen Elizabeth is certainly, certainly, uh, the fact that she is the faction buffer and is weak herself is atrocious. I've been busy leveling up soccer ships, as well as farming XP for the soccer ships. Oh, okay. So you're on a soccer empire grind over there. All right. Oh wow, the hydraulic steering actually made that tolerable. Maybe this is it. Hydraulic steering plus anti-air radar. Oh, okay, huh. Well, yeah. Actually, this I shouldn't I shouldn't jinx myself because this is far from over. But yeah, she's getting look at that. The battleships are lobbing rounds at her and they're missing, which is that's that's great. <laughs> See, she got heavily damaged, but she made it through. Whereas the last couple rounds this happened, she got obliterated. Okay, maybe she can recover this health. Maybe she can, I hope so. If she runs into battleship fleet after battleship fleet though, this is gonna this ain't gonna work so good. <laughs> Ghostar has official um Lang art for New Jersey and implacable now, OG. Um Lang art. What is wait, what is um Lang art stand for? Royal Navy, the Forgotten Faction. Facts! Oh, and Dispy Gaming, welcome. How's your day? <laughs> do you have Pain Leve maxed out, OG? I believe I do, yeah. I do have Pain Leve. And I do, I pretty, yeah, I maxed her out, yeah. I'm gonna double check on that, though, but I'm pretty sure I maxed her out. I've been grinding a bunch of ships lately, and I've mainly been focusing on battleships and heavy cruisers. And, um,. Firepower based destroyers exclusively. Mainly because um, I've gotten now a lot of heavy cruisers up to spec, but yes, yeah, heavy cruisers. I, I thought, um, I remember when I first started playing AL, uh, all the best. Um, well, I, I had a theory, and this theory proved true for, the, for a long time that um, the light cruisers, which all had the best skills by far at the time, um, if you could just raise their damage up enough. You could have one of the best balanced vanguards you could probably get. So I focused exclusively on getting fleet tech for light cruisers, and I was collecting it like, like a you know a crazy kid, you know a sugar addict on Halloween. I was collecting that stuff, crazy crazy sugar addicted kid on Halloween. Uh, fleet tech for light cruisers. So my light cruisers are astoundingly powerful, and now I don't use any light cruisers in my main Eagle Union fleet. I mean, it worked out perfectly for my Royal Navy fleet, which is all light cruisers, but yeah. <clears throat> I have not actually drank much of that meal pitney. I've been sipping this bottle to death, and it is still... Oh, man, I'm already a little buzzed. Watch out for me, old Pitney, man. It'll get you. Just as hell yeah, that North Carolina bunny skin. One of the first skins I got in the AL, and arguably one of the best ones in the game. Also, North Carolina Augment or Retro Win. That is a thing that, ah, uh, I'm so, so... Mm. Okay, North Carolina or Washington need a serious either retrofit or augment. They are two of the most prominent battleships in the entirety of World War II, and it seems like they have been forgotten. Maybe not North Carolina, because they did give her the bunny skin, but I mean, in terms of performance, that bunny skin's not helping her. But yeah. North Carolina, in, in, in particular, is still my favorite waifu out of all the battleships. She is my favorite battleship waifu in AL, and I'm like, my goodness, 
please, please, please. Dang, okay, this might kill North. This might kill Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, she ran into too much anti-air here. Yeah, aw, oh, she didn't make it. She ran into too many battleship fleets back to back. She okay, this fleet just might not yeah, and that's a top battleship fleet, so. Hmm. Yeah, this fleet just might not work. And I don't know why it was working earlier today, because I was auto-clearing this. Like, nobody's business. Maybe I just need to try it one more time. Damn. It was working totally fine when I tried it earlier today. Oh no, Queen Elizabeth is getting worn down. Okay, is my Royal Navy fleet worn down? Oh damn, okay, that skin wore out. Or, the skin expired. Okay, it's just Queen Elizabeth because she's getting killed all the time. <laughs> Terrible! Ugh! Terrible. Queen Elizabeth, what could I give you to make you survive? You have the right, uh, augment. Right AA gun. Let me think on this. Hmm. What here brings anti-air? but also something survivable. Mm, that's just AA. Torpedo, useless. Uh, EVA. Hmm. HP, luck. I'm just trying to find something. That's not gonna be any of these special pieces of gear. Hmm. I'm convinced there's a way to do this. I just haven't thought of it yet. Firepower hit. Uh, I need more survivability than that. What about these microphones? AA and accuracy. EVA and speed. Buttload of health. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I wonder what the speed would do. Probably not better than the... It, it won't be better than the hydraulic rudder. And she needs... Anti, she needs a, a anti-air boost. Hmm. Well, the only other thing that worked when I tried this was actually upping her damage. Because she does have two buffs that actually buff her crit damage yeah with this shell which um, on top of 30% yeah it increases her crit, crit damage by 30% but if you match this with um, okay so if you match this with where is it okay Plymouth's buff and also Dido's buff which increases her main gun crit rate by 20%. So 20% main gun crit rate increase plus a 30% increase in crit damage. This might work. It'll make her volley, or it'll make her, her fire incredibly powerful at the very least. But I may have to stick her in the dorm She's, uh, she's exhausted out here. Okay. There she is. It's gonna rejuvenate her a bit. Dang. Okay. All right. So, this will actually make her deal some considerable damage. Actually, I'm, I need to stop using these because I've been running out. Alright, let's try it this way. I wonder what they are going to stream, or to sh wonder what they're going to show off on the live stream Friday. You know, I'm interested in that too. North Carolina not getting retro, never for sure. Augment, well, that could be possible one day. Um, 
I don't know. Here's my thing is this. Uh, I mean, what we what we have now seen is with these augments, they have been releasing retrofits a lot slower and much less frequently. So now, uh, it seems to me, augments are sort of the new retrofit, I want to say. That may not be entirely accurate, but um, yeah, the last couple events haven't, been, haven't really had retrofits. Like, what, what was the last retrofit that we got? They've been, they've been, retrofits now are scarce. It's possible, it's, it's possible that, that retro, Queen, or you know, North Carolina could get an augment, but it, it feels like retrofits now, sparse. Sparse and few and far between. Damn, Queen Elizabeth again. Oh wow, she killed that. Okay, that that battleship gun damage is impressive now. Okay, that battleship gun damage is impressive now. That's a thirty percent increase in crit damage and a twenty percent increase in her crit damage rate. So Queen Elizabeth is slapping. With it, I could give Hermes a break, as I already have Arc Royal and Unicorn. Just need to retrofit them to get them at least to level 100 and max limit break. Huh. I use Pain Leve a lot. Lol, now I got my third Wyvern on her. She's good. You know, she strikes me as a very good, like, oh yeah, she's a good healer. She is. A, she really is a good healer. She can make a decent French mob uh, faction fleet. Or really any good faction fleet, if you're not doing, uh, any good, not any good faction fleet, any good mob fleet, if you're not doing faction fleets. Hinai Kimono. Hello, Milkman. Long time no watch. Yes, welcome to the stream, Hinai Kimono. How's your day? Lingere art for, oh, okay, Lingere art for North New Jersey in a plaque. Oh yeah, those are the ones you posted in the, the... NSFW section of the Discord. I saw both of those. Those are nice. Can I repeat that I wasn't listening? Oh, oh wait. Can you repeat? Oh, which part? Oh, Nico H. You said you weren't listening, but I'm like, which part do you want me to repeat? Is it was it what I said to you? Okay, so. Oh no, you said you were talking about leveling up soccer empire ships. Huh. Yeah, let me know which part you were t you were talking about. Okay, I'm still waiting for a proper retrofit for Pennsylvania, California, Tennessee, Maryland, and Colorado. That's a lot of retrofits during a time when retrofits are as rare as uh, I don't know what's something that's extremely rare that used to not be rare. I'm trying to find a good analogy for this. As rare as a $50 bill. <laughs> I haven't seen a $50 bill or a $2 bill in a long time. Use Queen Elizabeth meta. I don't think she has the buff though. And I don't think Dido's skill works with Queen Elizabeth meta. Like, if I switch out Queen Elizabeth meta, I'm gonna put Scylla back in there and use, um... Yeah, I would just switch... I would switch out Dido for Scylla. I feel like every old, older SSR needs an augment, really, when retro is not an option. I'd love to see the OG girls still usable. Most of them got one. There are still some ones to receive some buff. Yeah, that's true. I would like the old ships to get augments or red. Well, I would like the old ships to get some kind of buff. Uh, but the augments that they have given the old SSRs actually have been pretty good, especially ones like um, Grab Zeppelin got a very good one. HMS Hood, um, Illustrious. Like the one, the times they have gone back and given an old SSR an augment, it has worked out incredibly well. 
教えて。Just not, or just not augments like they gave KGV. <laughs> I actually have not really taken a good look at her augment. Hmm. Mr. V, yeah, that's a valid point. Shadow Angel is in the building. He says, Hi, OG. How are you today? Oh, I'm good. And how's your day? Nash. Kind of weird that Z1 got augmentation in North Carolina. Oh, you mean like before North Carolina? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, and you know what you know what kills me? Washington really is like the only American battleship to go to get into a battleship to battleship duel and come out on top. And she has absolutely nothing to reflect let me reflect that at all. I'm like, man, we need to give like Azure Lane, they need to give Washington, like at the very least, some some battleship killing skill. Like, I don't know, Washington does fifty percent more damage to battleships. Like, give her an augment where her, she gets a new skill. Instantly 50% damage to exclusively battleships. That would, that, would be more his, that would be historically accurate to the lore and be very effective. That would also make her quite usable in just certain cir circumstances. Like, she'd have a very good niche use. I don't know I really want Washington to get an upgrade. Washington, ah, uh, I kind of I was like, okay, when I started playing AL, and the best Eagle Union faction buffer was Prince of Wales. That irked me. That urged me to no end. I was like, why is it not Washington or North Carolina would also be an excellent candidate for that? But out of the two, I think it should have gone to Washington. Like out of all the all the ships. That、um, could have gotten an Eagle Union faction buff. I was like, it should be Washington. <laughs> Washington should have had that skill that、uh, Prince of Wales got. Was so upset. But I'm still enjoying the game. Finally visited the real life museum version of IJN Mikasa. I was in Japan for two weeks and came back on April 12th. Oh, that sounds awesome. I love seeing old warships, or World War II warships specifically, but warships from any era, really. But World War II is my favorite era. West Virginia retro, last retro? Was she the last retro we got? Because I'm like, West Virginia, her retrofit was just okay. It wasn't like groundbreaking in any way. Like, I still don't use West Virginia. I tried using her a couple times and then I was like, eh. Throw her, you know, throw her back into the docks. I was like, I want an impactful retrofit. Something. Seriously impactful. And preferably retrofit Biloxi, please. <laughs> preferably, my favorite ship that I would like Azure Lane to retrofit would be Biloxi. Because, yeah, she now,、um, in light of Montpelier with her augment, there was no reason to use Biloxi whatsoever. Other than. Sheer waifu reasons. I thought last retro was Nelson or Nachi. Oh, Nelson retro was recent too. Also, Nelson got a Nelson got an okay retrofit actually. Like Nelson's retrofit, I was like, that's that's a that's an all right one. And I bet that what、uh, Nelson's retrofit skin in particular. Beautiful. Very welcome. <laughs> Very welcome. Went to three museum ships in Japan. Oh, that sounds awesome. 
I thought the last retro was this. Oh, right, I read that. Oh, wait, I already read that. Uh, just don't make Washington BB victorious. BB victorious. I'm not sure I understand. Hmm. I thought the last retro we got was from the Chinese event. See, you know how rare retros are? It's hard for us to even remember which was the last retro. <laughs> that's how that's how rare the retrofits have got. I don't even remember the last retro off the top of my head. I'd have to go look it up. Washington really does need another good skill that doesn't involve requiring another specific ship to be present. Exactly. Exactly. That's my point. I'm like, Washington actually operated you know, I mean, she did operate with South Dakota, but for the most part, um, she had Ching Lee commanding her. I'm like, this guy, th like, she should have 100% accuracy. <laughs> 100, give her 100% accuracy at the very least. And like 50% more damage to battleships. <laughs> that would be accurate for Washington. Because Ching Li did not miss. Washington really does need another good skill. I already read that. Oh. Or you mean Eagle Union Retro? I would love an Eagle Union Retro, but um, any. There, there's some. Okay. There are some ships from other factions that I would welcome a retrofit for. In particular, um, okay. One of my favorite ships in the game is Nuremberg. And she is like the closest thing Ironblood has to an uh, to uh, to I guess a Sandy. I would love to see Nuremberg get a retrofit. She's one of my favorite black cruiser waifus. Yeah. Or or uh, hmm. okay, I would really like to see. One of the, um, in, in particular, I would like one of the Iron Blood um, light carriers to get a retrofit that allows them to heal. That would be nice. You know, that would be a very nice addition. Last impactful was Udachi. That's hard. To, yeah, yeah. That's a uh, that's hard to disagree with. Yeah, see, I was able to auto clear it now, so it looks like what was really needed was Queen Elizabeth to just have this on her, so she actually does real damage. Yeah, because that thirty percent increase in her crit damage, plus the twenty percent increase in her crit rate from Dido, makes uh, Queen Elizabeth slap pretty hard. Yeah. And then she has three heals working on her to keep her alive, which is, a, you know, that's struggling right there. But I mean, if it works, it works. OK, see, I can auto this world. Now, let's see if I can get three in a row. Actually, wait, OK, if I'm using this thing, her. Um, yeah, Queen Elizabeth is going to get exhausted very quickly. Damn. Actually, wait, I might want to hold off on this. I don't mind sacrificing one book. I don't want to wear her out. Turn this off. Now. Repeat sortie. There we go. Now let's see how this works. Retro was CV on the Dragon Empire. That's right. I remember that. I remember one of the, yeah, one of the Dragon Empire ships got retrofitted. Surprised Arizona or Enterprise to think of doesn't have a faction buffing skill. You know, yeah. I'm like amazed that like there's so many battleships, prominent American battleships. That I was like, you know, I mean, Enter Enterprise is a carrier, but I, I was like, prominent American battleships. 
that I think could have had a very decent excuse to be the faction buffer of the Eagle Union. Washington being the chief among them. Named after the first president of the U.S. Like, I would have been, I would have totally welcomed it if Washington was actually the, like, you know, lore faction leader of the Eagle Union. That would have totally worked. Totally would have worked. Oh, damn. Okay, Queen Elizabeth might not make it, but she is going to fire her volley. Damn, okay, she ain't going to... Hmm. See, that was a case of bad luck right there. Yeah, ran into a hard-hitting battleship fleet. Let's try this one more time. Yeah, and I can understand them not giving... Um, okay, in reflection, it makes sense that Enterprise does not have a faction buffing skill because her one skill that she does have actually has made her still okay if enterprise had a faction buffing skill she would act she would legitimately be op she would legitimately be the most op ship in the game I mean, to be fair, she was OP in real life. But you get what I'm saying. Victoria specialized against only these. Oh, okay. So don't make her... I see what you're saying, Mr. V. I love Nuremberg. She is waifu material. Yes, Nuremberg! Could use a nice retrofit. Nuremberg also, um, hmm. Okay, what is the name of that Royal Navy destroyer that has both air raid assistance and the other skill where your carriers take 15% less damage? I would like to see her get a retrofit. I mean, she already has a niche use, so I don't see her getting a retrofit anytime soon. Maybe an augment, but I would really like to see her get some kind of buff. Yeah, on top of it, I'm thinking to myself, who else? Who else, who else? Who else? get through this one. Might. Who needs love is the Italians. Zero URs, zero retros, and zero o skins. Okay, Mr. V, that's a very valid point. That is a very valid point, yeah. The Italians probably got the least love out of all of the long-term, long-time factions in uh, Azure Lane. That's a fair point. Yeah. A lot of BBs are still out there. Maybe Texas could be a faction buffer. I could see Texas being a faction buffer, but I mean, like... Man, okay. I'm actually really happy that we got New Jersey, and New Jersey being a faction buffer on her own in a way that is forever useful is still very good like to me I, the eagle union faction buffing battleship need was satisfied with new jersey yeah hmm. i could see texas coming in and having a very good faction buff though I would welcome a Texas with a faction buff. See, talking about BBs, 
when are we getting a ship that buffs BB XP? Because we have ships for other types, but not for BBs. That's a good point. That's a very good point, actually. Hmm. Yeah, a BB X XP uh, buffer. Yeah. I would welcome that. Oh, Edwin Deckers is in the building. He says, Hi, OG. Long time no see. How's your day? My day is going very good. How's your day, Edwin Deckers? I just got back from the gym before I started the stream, and I cooked myself something to eat. And, uh, yeah, my muscles are sore. I'm trying to get swole. I'm trying to gain impressive muscle mass. The ship you're talking about, HMS Arden. I, th I believe that's the one. I would really like her to get a buff. Or, you know, an augment or a retrofit at the very, you know, one of those two. Because I was like, I see that ship has so high utility. It's just, it's so easy to kill. Her survivability is like at the bottom of the barrel. She's one of the easiest destroyers to kill in the whole game. Like, it's terrible. Thinking of the weak backline, I wonder if the fake ship would have made HMS more viable or been a complete joke. Oh, are you talking about uh, Anson? The f Wait, what is the fake ship? Hmm. Yeah, what is the fake ship? I think they would have given Iowa the faction buff. You know, I could see Iowa getting the faction buff too. Yeah, Iowa would be a very nice faction buffer. I'm like, New Jersey, still good though. <laughs> I'm happy, like, my, my, uh, you know, attitude about Eagle Union not having a faction buffer totally fixed with New Jersey. I am so happy we got, I was so happy when we got New Jersey and she was a UR and a faction buffer. And had some decent skills of her own all at the same time. I was like, New Jersey, versatile Eagle Union faction buffing UR battleship. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. The ideal choice for BBXP buffer would be like Wyoming or Iron Duke. Okay, why do you say that? That's a, that? I'm like, interesting choice. I just want to know more of your reasoning behind the choice. Texas was used for tech experiments, so it kind of makes sense. Texas was, oh yeah. I could see Texas being a, I, that would be interesting. Yeah, if she was a battleship buffer, that would be interesting. She has a retro, actually. Oh, okay. Maybe a ship for BBXP buffing would most likely be Dreadnought. Oh, I see a lot of the reasoning behind, yeah, HMS Dreadnought. Yeah, if they add her into the game, that would be interesting. That would be like, I wonder what skills they would give her, but I could see BBXP buffer being one of them. Answer. What? Missouri for faction buff makes sense too. Missouri. I still think North Carolina or Washington have a slightly better argument. Missouri, yeah, I could see I could see her having a faction book too. I guess I'm biased. I'm biased for Washington <laughs> and New Jersey or and North Carolina. Fake ship, I meant the ants and they were going to release. Oh okay, yeah. Wyoming was used for gunnery training in the war, and the guns were constantly changed to give sailors practice. It was the ship that all sailors got their start training. Iron Duke played a similar role. Oh, well, there you go. That's perfect. Yeah. Missouri is where World War II ended, after all. 
Hmm. Fair point. Fair point. I'm still biased for Washington. <laughs> I'm like, man. Only, only American battleship to go to get into a duel with another battleship. And she got, she, she, you know, she's long forgotten by now, it seems. Good question, since I wasn't watching at the time. What was your opinion on HMS Anson's rumored appearance? Oh, oh, Hinai Kimono, don't get me started on that. Don't get me started. I was so upset. I was like, this is a crime against art. This is atrocious. Someone get this design out of here. I was sharing memes actually uh, in the community section of my uh, of my channel. I was sharing all these memes, just trashing the ants and design. <laughs> I was like, man, all these classy King George V classes. What is this Anson? <laughs> this this is this des design does not belong on a King George V class. I'm like, if you must have this design, stick it on a sub. But not uh, not no classy King George V class. All these class, like all the King George V sisters are all very elegant, you know, classy looking ship gals. And I was like, this is this is like, I don't know, the black sheep of this this family right here, uh, but not the cool black sheep. It was like the goofy, you know, the, the worst kind of black sheep. <laughs> oh, OK, it looks like, uh, yep, I'm going to get I'm going to clear this one all the way through on auto. I'm hoping I'll get Houston, two from this. Hoping. Hmm. If they add Texas, then she needs a marine patch along with a classy go girl, gal girl. I'm guessing you mean cowgirl look, since she was an old ship during World War II. That's what I'm hoping for. Like, um, I have shared images of this anime with one of the most, like, I guess, I want to call her stereotypical anime cowgirl character, where you see a clip of her. I want Texas to look like that, like a stereo typical cowgirl with six shooters you know cow cowboy you know, attire the most cowgirl looking you know generic of maybe not generic but you know what i mean and seeing as how she is a battleship and she was probably you know, a little, you know, a, you know, a little long in the tooth, as it were, during her World War II deployment. I imagine her being similar to FGG in that she is much more in the MILF slash Dami Mami uh, slash RR category of, of art design. One of those, one of those three. Yep, that was a good auto clear. But no Houston. Houston has been eluding me. Oh, wait. Yeah. I might actually near a thousand cubes for the first time ever. How many do I have right now? 906? My goodness. This is the most cubes I've ever had in AL ever. And it's a lot of it has to do with the fact that my last couple events. I got stupid good luck. I've never had that good luck um, on the last events as I have during the uh, on the last two events rolls. I was like, I'm mm, my luck has been holding. Every time I'm like, it's going to be the next event where I have to like my luck runs out and I go to pity. But so far, it, I have just been breezing through these events. It's been amazing. Yeah, I would like her to look like a classy cowgirl, but like, um, 
Okay, imagine the same spirit that FDG was drawn with, but fully in the direction of classic American cowgirl style. You guys know what I'm saying. Of course you all know what I'm saying. That would be, that would make me very happy. Same energy as FDG though. <laughs> Mass kind of dueled Jean Bart. I mean, she kind of, but Jean Bart was like in no real condition to fight. It was like, it, yeah, it's a kind of duel. She also had uh, help from uh, several other ships. Yeah. Not so great. I have pneumonia. Oh no. I hope you get better, Edwin Deckers. Get well soon, my man. And so now that I think of it, maybe Dreadnought could buff HMS BBs, unless there's already a Royal Navy ship that does it already. I mean, Queen Elizabeth technically, but I, I get what you're saying, like a buff exclusively for battleships. Yeah. I get what you're saying. KGBs plus Monarch top tier waifu Anson, not that, exactly. Yes, Mr. V, exactly. Exactly. While I like her appearance, I agree with you. It was the wrong body type for the class. Yeah. I was like, that's the don't put that design in that it, it like it was so it was so atrocious to do that to a King George V class battleship after we had all these classy, you know, battleship gal designs for that that group. And I was like, man. This feels like it, like it legitimately felt like a huge downgrade when I saw that Anson design. Like one of the most massive downgrades in Azure Lane history. I'm so glad they threw it out. Massive downgrade. I want Gangster New York. There is arguments that Reno was supposed to be New York Based on things people find originally, I want gangster New York though. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Like Hornet Cowgirl? Absolutely. Like Hornet Cowgirl. But I want even more Cowgirl. Like Hornet, for the most part, I mean, she kind of... Okay, Hornet has Cowgirl energy, but she, she just kind of looks like, I don't know... Maybe, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? She looks like a superhero wearing a cowgirl hat. More than a cowgirl. I'm talking a true to lore, you know, stereotypical cowgirl. <laughs> like Southern Belle levels of cowgirl energy. I'm over here at 1,100 cubes, close to 1,200. Dang, see, that's a lot of cubes, man. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I got, I need some, I need a couple hundred to catch it. I didn't have luck in events. Waste 200 cubes. Damn. Hmm. Huh. Damn. RNG can be like that sometimes. Yep. Yep, facts, man. Facts, facts. Prince of Wales buffs HMS now. Prince of Wales buff is legitimate. Well, yeah, now she buffs HMS and uh, Eagle Union. I'm like, I, I could see why they did that to her. It's like after we had New Jersey, now it's sort of like, um, okay, I would like a battleship that buffs Eagle Union carriers, but I, I mean, I actually, if we had, if any ship should get that skill, it should be North Carolina. Yeah, if any ship, if any ship should get that skill, it should be North Carolina. For sure, for sure. reason she didn't look like a KGV class 
People are thinking she was supposed to be the design for a sub given some of the artwork in her design being that of a sub, but I forget the name. Mm. You know what? I could see her being HMS Venturer. Oh, here we go. Is there any of these ships I need to enhance? These two, definitely. I need to raise these as fast as possible, because, um... Yeah, Frederick Carl gives plus one firepower in Fleet Tech, and Devonshire gives plus one accuracy, which is rare and much needed for heavy cruisers. All right, who else? Actually, probably her. Yeah. I plan on raising her to level 100, or level 120, mainly because, um... Wow, okay. Wait, I may only need one. Yep. I am extremely eager to get Battleship. Oh, wait. There we go. Extremely eager to get uh, firepower for destroyers. Now that I know for a fact, uh, basically, Laffy 2 would be of great benefit to getting firepower for destroyers. Not too many other ships I'm going to prioritize at the moment. Okay. Also, while I'm at it, I'm just going to delete these. Or retire these ships, excuse me. See, now I sound like a villain talking about deleting ship gals. Which, to be fair, is a villainous thing, but we're retiring them. Retiring. It's different. <clears throat> Reason she didn't look like a cage. Oh, I already read that. Little gangster New York and cowgirl Texas sisters. Yeah, that would be funny, cause um, and it's it would be funny if Texas like um had like a law girl or a lawman mentality. You know, like the like the sheriff. Like it would be funny if um, a, like USS Texas was actually like a sheriff in a old western town and then you have a mobster new york you know gangster new york which is on the total opposite end of that equation anti-law in every way of course biloxi would also probably be her number one lieutenant biloxi already has the title of dapper gangsters uh oh what's happening here Okay, everything's working. Never mind. Yeah, Biloxi already having the title of Dapper Gangstress would have to be New York's number one lieutenant if New York is going to be a gangster. Sunfish is the name of the submarine. Oh, okay. You know... Actually? Yeah, she looked goofy enough to be named after a submarine called Sunfish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that design, if they slapped that on a submarine called Sunfish, that would be... I mean, way more consistent. Way more acceptable. Got to go have a great stream. It's all good this weekend. I was glad to have you. Deckers. Are you also going to play Stellar Blade OG? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm. Here's the thing. Um, okay, after my trip to Prague, I've been trying to, like, I don't want to spend too much money on games. <laughs> uh, I am thinking about Stellar Blade, though, considerably. Um, but, you know, what's crazy is when I look at Stellar Blade, for some reason, it just makes me want to play, um, or excuse me, make new Skyrim art exhibits. But I'm thinking of 
I, I don't know. I need to wait for some more information to come out about Stellar Blade. I'm looking at some. I need to look at some reviews. Oh, and Vol Fussman is in the building. Howdy, gang. Hose your day. My day is going very well, Vol Fussman. And a hose your day. Just PPPP in. Or I guess popping in to say hello will be lurking in the background. All right, it's all good, Vol Fussman. Texas could be like the older U.S. Marine. <laughs> I could see that. I think it would be funny if Texas was a sheriff, like a cowgirl sheriff from an uh, old Western. Like, like imagine if they took, um, okay, imagine if they took the same energy from any of the no uh, Man With No Name Clint Eastwood movies and put that into a ship girl and made it Texas. That would be so funny. Like the, like, uh, the Clint, the, what am I thinking of? Like, she has the same spirit as the man with no name by Clint East, you know, Clint Eastwood's character. I love those movies, by the way. That would be so cool. <laughs> also, another thing I noticed was that only Eagle Union, when I think of it, has ships that were designed for AA duties. Would be nice to see some more of the other nations. Some more for the other nations. Yeah. Um, I mean, technically Nuremberg in the uh, Iron Blood is like a... She is an anti-air uh, specific focused ship for the Iron Blood faction. So Nuremberg... I mean, Iron Blood has one, but um, Nuremberg is in dire need of either a retrofit or an augment. Nuremberg's ripe for a retrofit, in my opinion. Like, that's... Iron Blood really needs a good anti-airship. Or they need to retrofit one of their light carriers. That would be another one. But Nuremberg in particular. She, if she got a retrofit and it was actually good, and it made her skill, like, I don't know, increase the AA of Iron Blood ships by a substantial amount, you might be able to use her in uh, World 15. Might, if the upgrade is good enough. Might. Valfus been invading Europe on Friday, so y'all be careful. Oh, damn. Dang, where are you touching down, Valfus? Yeah. See, the art for her had the seal of the sunfish on her outfit. Wow, that is telling. Yeah, that's telling right there. That's okay to be okay. Let me let's just think about that for a moment. She has the sunfish on her and she looks like a sub. That's sloppy <laughs> to make her Anson. That's like that's like they man, that's terrible. I'm so glad Azure Lane pulled the plug on that. Or Yostar pulled the plug on that. Excuse me. Let's see, you can play the demo on PS5. Oh, I don't have a PS5. If you're not cowgirl, Texas, in theory, could be an oil worker or an astronaut, given how close she is to NASA HQ. I mean, you know, they, oh man, they should have given that to Houston. <laughs> but at least, you know what they could do? I bet they're going to give a spaceship suit skin to Houston, like an astronaut suit skin. Kind of like um, Eldridge has an astronaut skin. Yeah, I actually bought that skin mainly because um, that skin covers her up the most. <laughs> That's the only reason I bought that skin for Eldridge. I was like, I wanted to use Eldridge. But uh, her default skin is little. Man. See, Dido is also designed for AA duty. Also, facts. Dido is designed for AA duty. Um, Bologna is somewhat designed for AA duty. But the Dido class light cruisers are all very good at AA duty. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good... I'm trying to think of who else. So the Dido class for Royal Navy 
Um, Plymouth is an EA beast for like, of course. But um, yeah, Nuremberg for Iron Blood, and she's about it in terms of Vanguard section. I mean, you can't equip the light carriers with, uh, you know, fighters exclusively, and their fast reload will make them good at AA. But not really good enough, especially not, maybe not to survive World 15, definitely. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that was another auto clear. That, another successful auto clear. So, note to self Queen Elizabeth absolutely needs to do some damage. Yeah, also, um, actually, these three carriers for Royal Navy are quite good at anti air, especially implacable. But that's just because you um, you change her loadout so she has fighters or wyverns. Or, and the same goes for uh, the illustrious class CVs. So technically, they could be anti-air. They could be. If you use the right loadout. Enterprise could also use a retrofit like historical. Well, that's what I... Okay, the retrofit I want the most, besides the Lux, of course, is Enterprise. But that's because uh, she really is my favorite uh, ship in terms of real World War II lore. She is my favorite ship. Let's see, oh... Uh... If she was Sunfish, people would have been happy because she would have been the first HMS sub. Facts. I'm like, why are there no HMS submarines? Yeah. There's actually three HMS submarines that have um, sunk or wounded German submarines during the war. And I'm like, if we introduced all three of those, you could have a full HMS sub fleet. That does nothing but sink, uh, you know, well, maybe not nothing, but can actually sink other submarines. That would be such a cool submarine perk or, or you know, gimmick for a faction fleet. HMS subs did a lot of work during World War II. Maybe this is a long shot, but what about HNLMS? Hertog Hendrik, captured by the Germans, renamed the Aradne, Aradne, and made into an AA battery ships. I don't know the history of this ship, actually. I would love to... Uh, it sounds like something I need to read up on. And it sounds like a good idea for an AA ship. Interesting idea. Interesting idea, Ansel. I believe it was just an April Fool's joke. <laughs> you know, I would believe that they didn't say it was an April Fool's joke, but if they said it was an April Fool's joke, I would believe it. Let's see the ship? Oh, a AA battery ship. Understood. The theory that it wasn't really Anson, it was Centurion, who was an old World War I ship that was used to trick the Germans into thinking she was Anson, was a theory about her when she was talked about. Oh, okay. That would actually, I don't know, that's still even, even the world, even for a World War One ship design, that's, that's still not quite good. <laughs> hmm. But still, like, for a World War One uh, ship, I, I imagine, wait, was this, was this a battleship or, like, a, a heavy cruiser from that time? Hmm. My Texas fleet will have Texas, Houston, and San Jacinto, and Dallas if they feel like adding more Fletchers. That would be the most powerful Lone Star fleet ever assembled. Yeah. Actually, you could have two uh, Houstons. Houston 1 and Houston 2. In the meantime... <laughs> That the U.S. sold, I guess, in her for scrap. Her ship, the, the ship for scrap, is a shame. Enterprise. Oh yeah, yeah. 
that is probably one of the worst scrappings. That is probably the chief worst scrapping in the entire history of scrapped ships. Enterprise. Yeah, I mean, a lot of her crew wanted her scrapped. And I'm like, they are the ones who made the legacy with their blood, sweat, and tears. So that's fair. But I mean, dang. Nico H, you have to have Lexington 2 in that Texas fleet. <laughs> See, that would be nice, says Michael Isaac. Oh, welcome, Michael Isaac. I don't think I've seen you here before. Welcome to the stream. Pose your day. See, Mr. V, uh, Maya was made into an AA ship post retro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, um. Yeah. I think Takeo was too, technically. Takeo was also made into an AA ship, um, a floating battery, but as, as she was crippled. Nico H, you have to have like two of them. Oh, okay. Uh, already read that. Oh, ish, you're right. <laughs> Same with Kavala in the sub part of the Texas fleet. Oh, yeah. Oh, MGT is in the building. He says, hey, OG, hose your day. My day is going very good. Hose your day, MGT. Worst fight right up there with Enti for worst scrap. Ew. Worst fight's another one. Yeah. Yeah, she fought that scrapping, too. Hmm. Damn. Hmm. Another thing that would be interesting would be U-256, as she and a few other U-boats were made as surface escorts. Hell, they were even classed as aircraft trap U-boats. Huh. How would that work in Azure Lane? That would be interesting. Yeah, you deploy the subs, and then all the planes, all the enemy planes, just throw their attacks at the submarines, and the submarines have, like, stupid high anti-air, but no AA gun. <laughs> Unless they had AA guns, that would be different. I imagine they did, though, because they'd have to if you classified it as a trap for aircraft. I agree, Mr. V. Yeah. Going good. Just got home from work and I am tired, a little understandable. I am I, I got back from the gym. I'm also physically exhausted. I don't know, it's that rewarding exhaustion though. But yeah. Y'all know what I mean. I four hundred was a submarine character. Yeah, you know, I do know about I-400. We could use some of those, but I'm still itching for some HMS subs and some Soviet subs. I'm like, where are the Soviet subs? Soviet subs also had their work cut out for them. China is also scrapping sunk ships like scraping sunken ships like the I cannot read that Netherlands Navy de Ruter cruiser oh I know what you're talking about like they're going down to these World War II uh, wrecks and just stripping them of all the valuable metals that they're made out of yeah that is that is that's that's a horrible horrible crime to me it's like grave robbing. Grave robbing and destruction of history. That's what that is. But uh, when the Chinese communists want to basically rewrite history, uh, they don't care about any of that stuff. Yeah, nothing is sacred to them. Soviet subs at the bottom of the ocean because they were trash. You know, yeah, they didn't. Okay, out of in terms of capability, 
they were quite bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, some of them did actually have some successful runs. Some of them did have some successful runs. But yeah, the, when they, they, I think, were like the worst submarines overall out of the war. Out of any nations um, in the, involved in World War II, I think they were actually the worst. Armed with quadruple 20 millimeter AA guns and classic deck gun, so after their torpedo run, they would pop up and provide AA fire support before retreating. Oh, okay. Interesting. A lot of ships in that area have either disappeared or have shown signs of scraping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, robbery. Criminal robbery. Hmm. Yeah, just like looting graveyards. Yeah, that's how. That to me, I'm like those. Those should stay there untouched. That like that's a. That, those are memoirs to history right there. And China does not give a damn about you know history. Any history where they were not on top of the world. Hmm. I am scared we are going to get a Muse ship. I must get and must waste cubes on. We just don't know. It won't be uh, Enti as she is the bodyguard for the event according to the X post for it. I fear a Muse Yorktown, New Jersey, etc. That takes me 200 plus cubes to get. Oh man. Oh, that's what you meant by Muse. Oh, so we're getting some new musical, musical ship gals. Oh, okay. Huh. Here's hoping for a useful Biloxi, but that's just me and my biased opinion. If we get North Carolina, I would also be incredibly happy. Or, or, you know who I could really see them doing for some reason? Um, I could really see them doing Musashi, or, uh, but now she's a UR. They would, I don't know if they would do a UR. Uh, make it make her they probably make her an SSR which wouldn't be hmm maybe not Musashi hmm they almost always have yandere's in the muse uh, the muse ships you ever notice that it's almost always at least one yandere like a kagi a uh, rune so I'm looking at the Yandere ships. Oh man, they killed Queen Elizabeth. Damn. I'm looking at the Yandere ships right now, and I'm like, okay, which one of you is it gonna be next? Because it seems almost always that they have one Yandere as one of the muses. Almost always, one Yandere. Hmm. That's a good question. Wait, let me go. Let me look at these Muse ships in the wiki for a second here. You know, we also don't have any, uh, I don't think any French Muse ship girls. Hmm. Let me see this. Uh, nope, not that one. Where's the page with the Muse ship girls? In, uh, damn. Oh, damn. The New Jersey almost got knocked out by this fleet. Okay, I don't know if she's gonna make it. 
this was now getting seriously interesting. Okay, I'm gonna see if this fleet can survive with Enterprise as the flag. Okay. Get them, Enterprise. This will be interesting. Krakow is also good as a ship. Okay. West Virginia Muse, please. Let's see, they would lower rating. They already did that with Muse, Baltimore, and Albuquerque. That's true. I could see Bremerton Muse for sure, but I doubt they would do that after always already doing Baltimore. But Bremerton, Goddess of Thickness, is pretty popular. They usually go for the most popular ship girls. The Anne, all Anne Yandere. I've noticed this. It's like there's gonna be a Yandere and popular ship girls. So, what if we get a uh, Prince Eugen Muse? Prince Eugen Muse, I could probably say is a good bet. If I was betting, if I was a betting man, Prince Eugen would be right for a Muse. Hmm. Who else? This is a good question. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, who else? Prince Eugen Muse. Maybe, um... Let's see, most prominent, most prominent Yandere ship girls. I wonder if we have any French or Italian Yandere ship girls as options. Oh, actually, they could do this. Enterprise killed it as the flag. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, 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 oh. I just thought of something. I should probably, in this case, switch out Enterprise for Independence, because she'll have that cross-fleet buff, which will make my next... Yeah, that'll probably be better. And you, I shall switch for... Actually, I'm going to throw in Biloxi here. Okay. Okay, and... Uh... Here we go. Um, Kearsarge actually does not have a cross-fleet buff, so I'm going to switch her out for Enterprise. Alright. This will be interesting. Okay, because this, I think, will increase the survivability of my Royal Navy fleet by a substantial amount because she has her cross fleet buff will help the. Uh, oh, wait, I need to switch. I need to give her actual fighters for one thing. Uh, hmm. You know, actually, she will be good on medium armor this way. And I'm going to use this on her. Okay. This. Alright. This will be interesting. Yeah. Because uh, her cross fleet buff will benefit uh, Unicorn and Perseus. Which might actually help them survive. Might be the whole different... I, I, ooh. You know, this fleet does need more damage for light armor, though. So, And Enterprise is already doing more than enough for anti-air, so I'm just going to slap this on. And she may run into battleships. Okay, never mind. Slap... Original configuration. Let's see if this will work. Okay. See, now there's another reload buff to my uh, Royal Navy fleet. Kirk 
Town's also a good AA ship. That's also true. As well as Cheshire. Cheshire is a very good AA ship. She can, she can solo AA carry a lot of a lot of content. Hmm. Devonshire Muse when? You know, I could see them giving her a Muse. <laughs> I could see that. Hmm. Belfast Muse. Belfast does not have a Muse version. And Belfast would make an interesting Muse. Yeah. I could see Belfast getting a Muse. Belfast or Prinzoigen. What's an idol event without a Yandere? F yeah, facts. Facts. I just don't know which one it's going to be. Gasconu Muse, French, no Italian Muses. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, there, i.e. There is. Oh, I would not mind Bremerton, low my faith. <laughs> Goddess of Thickness, Bremerton. See, we have the Malin Muse. Oh, that's true. Okay, so there are some French Muses. For getting some love for the Italians, it would probably be the destroyer escort to Fone, as it was the only armed with AA guns. Like, quite a lot of AA for Italian ship standards. Hmm. The Malin? More like Le Ballin. A Wari Muse would be interesting. Ooh. Yeah, a Wari Muse would be fascinating. Hmm. Hindenburg Muse makes some sense, as all the Muse events had a PR ship in it. Yeah, yeah, they do have... A, okay. PR ships are on the plate. PR ships, Yandere's, and popular ships. Kearsarge Muse. Kearsarge Muse would be so welcome. <laughs> I would welcome a Kearsarge Muse. She is currently my favorite PR ship. Or Plymouth Muse. That would be another one. Kearsarge or Plymouth. My two favorite PR ships. Very welcome to get muses of them. That would be nice. Although I imagine... Okay, I imagine if we got a, a Plymouth Muse and she's anything close to current Plymouth, um, having two Plymouths in the same Vanguard would be an OP Vanguard. Two Plymouths and some cruiser buffer in the middle. Hmm. Fascinating. The Wari Muse would be interesting. Hindenburg Muse would make some sense as all the Muse. Oh, right, I already read that. Belfast doesn't have an artist anymore. I mean, though, they could find a replacement. Anko Muse is a possibility too. She is so popular. Anchorage Muse. Yeah. I could definitely see that one, too. Anchorage Muse would be very welcome. Very, very welcome in my book. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What about Chikuma Muse? I could see that one too. Yeah. Hmm. These are all interesting prospects. Yeah, I am noticing just using independence in this fleet with uh, Anchorage, or no, not with Anchorage, using independence in this fleet makes a nice, nice difference for my Royal Navy fleet. That's two reload buffs they got now. And neither of them are small buffs either. Mm. Dang. 
Yeah, it's almost unfair with these uh, independence and uh, enterprise together is like almost unfair. I'm now starting to think I should use Anchorage because she has air raid assistance. Or not Anchorage, Kearsarge as the flag instead of New Jersey. Yeah, she has air raid assistance. And her gun buffs the airstrikes. Okay, I'm gonna switch that out when I, later when I get a chance. I just like that cross fleet barrage that New Jersey has because getting my mob fleet through this is harder. Actually, I might just leave New Jersey for that reason. Getting the mob fleet through is harder than killing the boss fleet in this auto. Hmm. Now they finally add Tone, but it's just Tone Muse. <laughs> Revenge Muse would be adorable. Oh yeah. Revenge is a cinnamon roll. Very cinnamon roll-esque looking uh, battleship. If Enti Bodyguard, maybe Hornet or Yorktown Muse, since that's who Enti would be the bodyguard for. I could see a Yorktown Muse. Yeah, they don't. I could see a Yorktown Muse or a Hornet Muse. That way, we would have a, we could have a full Hornet or full Yorktown fleet uh, backline, either or. Yeah, because then you have the original two, and then the Muse. And we know Azure Lane likes doing stuff like that. Historically, they have done that repeatedly with Akagi already. You know, and actually several ships. Yeah, there's like four Akagis now, if you count Akagi Chan. Damn. Yeah, and Yorktown seems to be a favorite. Yeah, Yorktown Muse, I, I could see that happening. I could see Yorktown Muse being a very real thing. Yorktown Muse... And it would be funny if they introduced, um, or actually, you know, I could see her acting as bodyguard for Belfast Muse. Like, think about it. Belfast Muse, because the Enterprise is the bodyguard. I could see a Belfast Muse. Belfast, I'm, okay, I have high hopes on Belfast. I should enter this in a poll. Hold on a sec. Because I'm thinking... Oh, actually, no, wait. Wait, wait, let me think on this. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a poll. No, wait, I have to go here. Okay. Hmm. Let me see this thing. And... Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a poll, but then I'm gonna uh, it's gonna be multiple polls So we're gonna have like at first three famous Or three ships as options and then another ch three ships as options and then the winners are gonna face off And who knows these all the all these ships could be wrong. Okay. Why is this not working? Okay, since YouTube's outline changed up, I'm ha I've been having issues here. Damn it. How do you clear this up? Wait, can I make the pull from here? Now they add revenge music. Anti is bodyguard, maybe only tempers. Oh, I could see. So if it is Yorktown, then there would be four Yorktowns, base, two, Muse, and Meta. Oh, yeah. Drakinius Prime is in the building. He says, what up, OG? Congrats on the stand-up set. Oh, why, thank you. Yeah, they clapped for me when that was over. I liked that. Fun fact, I did stand-up comedy in Krakos. Uh, my video is available <laughs> for any of those I want to see. 
Yorktown Muse scares me as I would throw all cubes together. Oh, man. Me too, man. However many cubes it takes, that's how many cubes I'm going to spend to get Yorktown Muse. Or Hornet Muse. Okay, wait. Here we go. Okay. Which of these popular ships might get a muse? Okay, so I'm going to put Belfast as option number one. Prince Wagen. And let me think, let me think. Hmm. Yorktown. And I can add more options here. How many can I add? Only four. Okay. Yorktown and what's another one? Not a PR ship, but a base ship. Which BA anime? I watch AL. Would have handled Chicky Khan like BA handled Sensei. Oh, what's the. B Wait, what is BA? Actually, make him a character. What is the BA anime? I know a couple animes that are acronymed BA. I just realized something I need more quick finishers. F. <laughs> Fans complaining about the lack of lollies in BA anime keeps my faith intact for the BA. Oh, goodness. Okay, wait. Belfast. Prince Oiken, Yorktown, and I'm trying to think. Blue Archive. Oh, okay. I don't play Blue Archive. Hmm. Bremerton. Let's go with that one. Alright. This is just a fun poll, and whichever winner will move on to the next round of the polls. Alright. Please vote. Which you think will probably be next. Out of these ones. Hmm. Oh, damn. They got knocked out. Hmm. And even with... Wow, they all got killed. <laughs> that whole fleet got wrecked. Damn. Okay, and it was the last one, it looks like, so that's understandable. Okay. Collect this ammo here. Run over here. Let me see this blue archive. Yeah, no. Okay, I'm on the... Yeah, Michael Isaac, I agree. No lollies. I used to be, I used to, but the anime was done so insanely well for it. Well, if you just gotta make them choices hard, huh? <laughs> yeah, I wanna, I, I, I wanna know. Which one? Brim, please. Yeah, because these all seem like uh, comparable options we could get for muses. Bremerton, really? Y'all think Bremerton so far? It looks like it, Prince Eugen, it, it won like number one most popular ship a couple times, I think. So Prince Eugen to me is like a very strong candidate for a Muse ship. Prince Eugen, Yorktown too. We know uh, they made a uh, that YouTube. Um, what was it? They made that video. With um, that music video with Lindsey Sterling playing the violin. And Yorktown, that was all about Yorktown 2 coming uh, and the Battle of Midway. I'm like, they love Yorktown 2. And they made her a UR. So I'm like, they, they like you. I could see them ha having a little favoritism towards Yorktown. Just a little bit. Teensy weensy bit. Hmm. 
I wouldn't complain about Alex Muse. You know, she could be, yeah, she could be a candidate for a Muse. You know who also kind of strikes me is Essex, mainly just because she's such a meme. Essex would make a great Muse. <laughs> Don't complain about Alex Muse. Okay. The A fan base are uh, based for gatekeeping their game. Hmm. Oh, you know who also I think could get a muse? Kashino. Yeah. After that Kashino controversy, I could see her getting a very, very, uh, very nice muse. Okay, so the winner of this poll is Bremerton. Unless I I'll keep it up for a little bit more for those that want to still vote. But I'm just. Uh, right now, it looks like Bremerton is a clear winner, but uh, there's, a, you know, if anyone wants to vote on this, there's enough, uh, it looks like, to swing the vote. Swing the winner. Well, yeah, but I think it's about making ships that people that don't use better. Huh. Lexington Muse would make a lot of sense. Yeah. She does have that idol in Okay, I'm going to now end the poll. And I'm going to start... Oh wait, so with Saratoga. Yeah, why is there no Saratoga Muse? Or Sandy. Sandy also could use a Muse. Okay. Yeah, that Vanguard... It was hairy, but they came out okay. Damn, my Royal Navy fleet is aching for relief. Been worn down to the bone. Okay. Um, let me try this. I'm going to switch out. Actually, no. Now I'm going to leave this fleet as is. Yeah, these two cross fleet buffers can help this fleet over here. In fact, the only thing I probably actually if I put Yorktown 2 here, she does have that barrage. Where's Yorktown 2? Do I have the fighters for her though? Hmm. Actually, I could give her this. And, uh, Wyvern, perhaps? That would be a fighter and an extra torpedo bomb. But I could give, eh. Yeah, Wyvern. Okay, let's see if this works better. I hope. I hope this works. Okay. Uh, this fleet might, yeah, they might need a break. Everybody's exhausted. After the, if this, if this, they end up cracking after this, I'm just gonna switch to Operation Siren. Okay, and it looks like... Okay, I'm gonna end the poll. Right, Sandy and Sarah need it maybe low. Yeah. I'll laugh if we got Sandy Muse. Send all of my cubes to ensure I got Sandy Muse. Yeah. Comment in Chapai of Augments income... Or comment in Chapai of Augments incoming tomorrow, OG. Yeah. I saw that too. And yeah, Chapai of still with the obsessive dominatrix theme. Why? Chapai of... It really, Chapayev really is like that, like, I don't know, like a very innocent uh, church girl that you find out is super freaky in bed. <laughs> Chapayev is out here wild. Okay, next poll. So Bremerton is on the list. Next poll. These are going to be PR ships.
Okay. So, Plymouth. Number one, Anchorage. Number two, Kearsarge. Number three, and I'm going to throw in a gear because she is also surprisingly popular and is a PR ship. So I'm going to throw in a gear here. Hi, Jan Pol. What's popping? Oh, what's up, Nariko? Hose your day. All right. I'm going to, this is just PR ships. And so number one winner was Bremerton. But now we're just throwing in uh, other ships and we're going to have a couple winners and maybe and see who uh, of the winners. Then we could have the winners face off against each other. So here we go. I'm going to try this one. Helena is a clear favorite, too. Yeah, she needs to be on the next poll. So PR ships for a muse. Why is this loading taking so long? I might have to restart it. Oh, no, I think I have to restart it. OK, hang on a second. Yeah, I think it, it I think it froze on me. All right. Restart incoming. I mean, uh, let me check this poll right here. Okay, only four votes for now. I'll come back to it. Anything could happen still. Just think what would happen on the Sandy server if they have a Sandy Muse. Oh, the Sandy server will be going nuts. They already kind of go nuts. Maybe a little too nuts. <laughs> Sandy server could really use some chill pills over there. Just saying. I would not mind seeing more HMS. What is it like? Did, did Dido, I guess? Dido, Dido has a Muse. Yeah. Or are you talking about like how is Dido doing with her with her augment now? Because this augment is killer. Okay, there we are, back in the game, and back to auto. There we go. All right, what's in this poll here? PR ships for amuse. Plymouth did got zero votes. I thought she would have been high. And as well as Kearsarge. Just like a lot of y'all just went for anchor or a, a gear, I mean. A gear and anchorage. But more towards a gear. I am rooting for uh Kearsarge, but I mean you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Damn. Damn, okay. Yeah, how's your day, Nariko, by the way? Let's see, does Oh wait, they need to let us casually farm H of our fighter blueprints already. I think I'm stuck at five total fighters. Only after Yorktown 2's event. So freaking annoying to see Chemo farm enough BPs for like 20. <laughs> I have six. <laughs> I have used the HR and I, there's two two I have ready to build that I just haven't built yet. But yeah, I do use the HR fighters or the uh, HR um, Hellcats on light armor now, like ridiculously. And it's perfect. For, one is uh, at least for me, one for Kearsarge is really the most necessary. That one HR fighter on Kearsarge makes her like so devastating in PvP or against any light armor. Yeah, Helena doesn't have a muse. Oh, you know who I could also see is Honolulu or St. Louis? St. Louis, excuse me. Honolulu or St. Louis, also quite popular. In the end, Takeo and uh, Otago, also quite popular. Some of the old traditional uh, like old old school original ships. Only non UR is Anki. I have to go with Anki. All Anchorage. For, it's all Anchorage for me. 
Yeah, we haven't had a UR uh, Muse ship, I don't think. But I could see them downgrading the rarity. One will be Ijan. I figure it will be one of the following Owari, Noshiro, Atago, or Kaga. Ooh, I could actually see them introducing Kaga Muse, and she has some kind of synergy with a Kagi Muse. I could see that happening. That would be fun. Hmm. I need to have my next poll just be exclusively IJN. Okay, six votes here. Okay, does anyone else want to cast a vote? If not, I'll just end the poll. I'll wait a little bit longer. Hmm. Yeah, next one. That's actually a good one right there. A good lineup. Awari, Noshiro, Atago, or Kago for the next poll. Atago is pretty famous. She's my favorite out of that lineup. I just, I still prefer Takeo. Also going to be new songs and new skins for non-muse characters. Kind of excited for the event. Oh, okay. Huh. It sounds like a good event. Ooh, I wonder if they're gonna add any Northern Parliament uh you are or Northern Parliament muses. Cause I could see them using one for Chapaev. She's sort of popular as far as Northern Parliament goes. Or, uh, what's her name? Brat? I can never pronounce her correct name. Uh. Hmm. Nine votes. Okay. A gear and anchorage, really. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to end the poll. Gotta go to work, Colin. Okay, it's all good, Hinai Komodo. It was glad to have you while you were here. We got Tash Camp Muse. This is... I do remember Tash Camp Muse. Okay. That's a good line. So, old. Oh, wait, hold on a second. IJN Muse. Okay. Wari? Shiro, a tug, or and what was that last one? Kaga. Okay. Here we go. Another polls up. Murmansk, maybe for Northern Parliament. Uh, you know, I could see her. It would be funny, but I would love an upgrade for any meaning the two munition ships. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Battleship Key. Okay, out of all the IJN ship girls, Key is not very popular, but she is one of my favorite for waifu reasons out of the Sakura Empire. 
type shits. Y'all ain't voting on muse ships anymore. You're voting for hentai. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Hey, to be fair, maybe that could influence the choices of muse ships. Not that I would know anything about looking at hentai at all, whatsoever, for any reason. <laughs> Awari no Shiro. Really? She is... Oh, okay. She is, I think, the most useful IJN light cruiser. Yeah. Hmm. And none for Kaga. <laughs> Did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. Interesting. You guys put higher priority on Owari and Itago than uh, than Kaga. Interesting. Interesting idea. They are big, but they could be better. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, if they added a Musashi, um, yeah, if they ever added a Musashi uh, Muse, you could actually have a full Yamato class backline with Shinano, Musashi, and Musashi Muse. Kaga seems like a serious girl. Yes, she is. Kaga is one of the most serious IJN ship girls there is, with probably only Takeo p surpassing her. I hate that you can't put more than no, I guess, not gear on them. It could be more. I'm not sure I understood that. Okay, I gotta go. I see you next time, OG. It's all good. Take it easy, Edwin Deckers. Hmm. One more auxiliary slot. At the moment, I kind of like the fact that you only get two. Like, it makes you think. Mm. It makes you seriously... It, like, it seriously challenges your, your strategic thinking. See, that you only get two slots. I mean, it would be nice, but I do like the fact that it challenges you to think. I mean, three could challenge you to think, but a lot less. Full of Muse would not be bad. Yeah, sorry, you can only put on one of them. But that is the limit. Ah, I see. Yeah, it seems like this fleet is solid. Yeah, everyone in this fleet currently, my USS fleet has a, some type of cross fleet buff or barrage. It's, it's like they're 
trying to help carry the Eagle or the Royal Navy fleet through the mob clearing. Right before they go to town on the boss. Themselves. I would welcome a pull of Muse, by the way. I would welcome... There's a lot of Italian ships that I would very much welcome as Muses. Yeah. Yeah, see, that was a decent auto-clear. See, the fleet just needed some tweaking, but we got it running. But unfortunately, still no Houston. I have almost ground my Royal Navy fleet into total, mor you know, morale loss. Total loss of motivation here. Only Plymouth is still happy. Everybody else is getting tired. Damn. Hmm. I'm pleased with the performance of this fleet so far, though. They've done good work. Damn. Okay. No Plymouth. I'm wondering if I... It, it might just take one more to grind them into exhaustion. It might just be... This might be the feather that breaks the camel's back. All right, let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. <laughs> if we could put all the munition ship gears on them, they would be OP. A muse without that would be nice. Oh. All right, I'm going to end this poll. No Shiro is the clear winner from IJN Faction. All right. So ships, I did not include. I'm going to add Pola in this next poll. Helena. Honolulu. And one more option that someone mentioned. Hmm. Man, okay, there's another, there's another ship that's on the tip of my tongue, but I cannot remember. Also super, uh, mm. Bismarck, Bismarck Muse, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm adding that one in. Yep. That's a good one. Bismarck. All right. New polls in. Hmm. Yeah, I could see Bismarck getting amused. You have three Bismarcks at that point, too. 
OG Bismarck, Bismarck Spy, and Bismarck Muse. See how this poll's going. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's only two votes. Okay, never mind. I will wait. Yeah, I'm wondering if we named one of the ships that's going to be a muse. At least one. Maybe. I was thinking, it is, it makes, um, it's interesting that Belfast doesn't have an artist anymore, because I was like, you know, I haven't seen any new artwork of Belfast from anything new regarding, from like any of the new stuff from AL. I was like, yeah, Belfast has been missing from a lot of the new media. And I was like, I was wondering if that was it. She, she hasn't had a new skin in a while. Although she already has plenty of skins, though. West Virginia? <laughs> Sorry for the hentai. It has to be St. Louis and Honolulu. Mm. Jean Bart. Oh, Jean Bart. She would make an interesting muse. Not quite a yandere, but she is a mean girl. Jean Bart's like... Yeah, Jean Bart and Graf Zeppelin are like the two just outright mean, cold women of Azure Lane. Ooh, Graf Zeppelin would make an interesting muse. Ooh, Graf Zeppelin, yeah. My bet is on Yorktown to be a muse ship since Enterprise was shown as security. I could see that. Belfast has lost two artists in her time in AL. Ooh. Belfast. Just losing artists like... Dang. Losing, losing artists like they're going out of style. <laughs> yeah. Oof. All right, who we got here, folks? Helena leading by a lot. Yeah, Helena is a clear favorite, it seems to me. Yeah, think about this. We'll have three Helenas. Actually, there's already Helena Chan, so Helena Meta, Helena, Helena Chan, and if we got a Helena Muse, that's four Helenas. That's a lot of Helena. Too much Irish whiskey. 
You mean Belfast losing her artist? Or whiskey. Her OG artist quit AL because they didn't like doing... Oh, they didn't like doing art of Belfast. Huh. So her original artist just didn't like... What, like drawing art of... Like make it creating Belfast art? Damn, that's Ted. I mean, I don't know the circumstances that was she probably has or she or he probably has a much clearer picture of it than I do. I'll leave the pole up for a little longer. Oh no, they got wiped out. Damn it. Or uh, Queen Elizabeth got killed again. Hmm. And look, everybody's health is high except Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, it's just these battleship uh, bosses. Okay. Yeah, her mor her uh, morale is probably in the toilet by now. Actually, let's see. I want. Yeah, it is exactly as I thought. Okay. Is there anything that provides like AA and EVA? Huh. Yeah, if there was something that provided anti-air and EVA, that would be great. Oh, wait, what about this thing? EVA, hit, luck, uh... Not a great mix. Yeah. Never mind, I'm gonna hop over to Operation Siren. Give my poor Royal Navy fleet a break. They all need to chill. Actually, they're gonna be doing work in Operation Siren, but it won't affect their uh, morale. Oh, yes. And... Hmm. Okay, I have one more row I need to buy or exercise after this, and I need to clear 13 more zones. Oh, wait, not these zones. Ah, what the heck, why not? Oh. They didn't like all their art just being of Belfast and wanted to focus on other ship girls. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Yeah, they just wanted to do something different, I guess. I still feel it's a way for them to not have to use history as a reason. So it will be something that is not a two or a you are placing. Huh. Do the heart keys. Wait, do the heart keys do AA and EVA? The heart keys? Do I have those? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh. Well, how about that? Well, thank you. I am tempted to upgrade this to plus 13, but I'm going to see how it works at plus 10 next time. Oh, wait, it's accuracy. Hold on a second. It looks like it's plus it's accuracy in AA. Yeah, okay, it's accuracy in AA. Dang, okay. I have one eyelash that's screwing around with me. Okay. I think I just plucked it out. I hope. Yeah, AA and accuracy. Uh, hmm. Accuracy and EVA. Ah, man. Just HP. Accuracy and firepower. Only EVA. Yeah, my bad. It's all good. The Sea of Stars do AA and ABI. I remember that thing. Get. <laughs> EVA and accuracy. It's like that's worth considering. Firepower and EVA. Nah. Hit or accuracy and firepower. Hmm. Accuracy and fire. Man. It's like if I want accuracy and firepower, I'll go for one of those radars. ABI and firepower. I remember that. Oh, um, HP and ABI. Oh, wait. When equipped by a Royal Navy ship, increases that ship's evasion rate by 5%. Granted, she has no ABI. But still. Nah, everything else is. Everything else in all the other ships is fine. This is meant for a carrier. And I'm not going to replace anything currently on wait when equipped by a royal navy ship increases her luck by three ah hmm not good enough I don't think Oh, it does give EVA, though. Hmm. This probably, uh, no. Yeah, the next best thing I can think of is two dishwashers. That's the next best thing I can think of. Or no, dishwasher plus uh, AP shell. Use your sort tab for AA aux. You have crazy gear I've never seen. Well, <laughs> yeah. I've been trying to collect all the special gear. Wait, where's the sword tab for this thing? Uh, let me see, sword. A, A. Yeah, confirm. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Sorry if that went into the mic, by the way. <laughs> uh. Hmm. 
Yeah, it looks like the best thing I can think of is this. And this is counting on a lot, like are the, the fighters not killing her. Then again, battleships seem to be the only thing that it actually is killing her. I think I've seen her get killed by fighters only a couple times. Mm. Decisions, decisions, man. You have a lot of crazy stuff after five years in the game. Yeah, that's true. Bless you. Oh, thank you, Vault Fuss. <laughs> Yeah, dang. Yeah, I guess that... The mm. thing is, she when she had both the AA radar and the dishwasher, she still got killed. But she wasn't doing any damage because she didn't have the, the Royal Navy shell. So I have not tried using her with the EVA uh, the, or the dishwasher and the Royal Navy shell. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Gotta watch the pollen. It's crazy bad right now. You know, you know, yeah. I've been sneezing more often for no reason. Although that, that if it's for no reason, then that reason is pollen, probably. Yeah, I opened my window and because I needed to, I wanted to like, you know, get some airflow going in my apartment. And yeah, a bunch of pollen flew in. I was vacuuming up everything, trying to, <laughs> it's like, where did all this pollen come from? Okay, I actually didn't want to do the hidden zone. I want to do explorable zones. Oh, damn. Hmm, there we go. Oh, I need to check this poll. Let's see, eleven votes. Helena and Honolulu tied neck and neck. Hmm. And Bismarck and none for Poland, but Bismarck are close, close behind. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. So if I was to do this between the winners, it would be... Helena? No Shiro? Bremerton? And a Gear.
All right. Well, here are the winners. And in a poll against each other. I chose Helena, but Honolulu was quite up there. I was like, I, I could only pick one from these winners lists. Your Queen Elizabeth vids made me want to use Queen Elizabeth. Then I found where you got the gear and Queen Elizabeth is meh without the event. It's crazy. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth is meh without the event or without without the special gears. The spe or at least the, the Queen Elizabeth gear in any case makes her great for mobbing. Still a good mobbing ship. But yeah, that that uh the Her Majesty's flight itinerary uh thing, not flight itinerary. I forget what that gear is called, but you know what I'm talking about. The book that I have Ditto carrying right now. Yeah, that thing is very good for Queen Elizabeth. Cause she needs all the help she can get to stay alive. <laughs> That ox gear is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Instant buff to damage and a heal for Queen Elizabeth. So it's like super buff. Still not enough to make her easily survive 15-4 though, but to be to be fair, 15-4 is hard for like um it, there's a lot of ships that 15-4 would be hard to auto on. Like 15-4, uh, trying to auto 15-4 is like still one of the like toughest survivability challenges for the mob fleet. Yeah. Amagi 2? Know about that. The new pole is up, though. Hmm. Thought I smelled something in my apartment. I was there and you know. <laughs> I was there and yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, surviving 15 4 on auto. <laughs> yeah. Crit crying tears? Hmm. Oh, did you not get the ox gear? <laughs> oh, that ox gear is revolutionary for Queen Elizabeth. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they'll probably do a rerun of the event if you didn't get it. I don't know when the rerun event will be, but I mean, there's a lot of gears that have been like, you know, recollected over reruns. My A or my AC started on the fool's scales. Oh, your account started on the fool's scales. Huh. Was that right but right after 
this event happened with the where you could get the Queen Elizabeth uh, itinerary gear. Let me see. Let me look this up. Hmm. Her Majesty's top secret itinerary. So obtained from Queen's Ordinary Day. Okay. And that started on February 16th, 2023 and ended March 14th. And you said you started on Fool's Scales. That was the, uh, what was it? Is she a Dominion? Yeah, the full scales. Ooh, August 17th, 2023 is when that started. Okay, actually, you, I wouldn't say you just missed it. You missed it. That That's a whole bunch of months. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of months. To I mean, not a lot of months, but you know. Let's see, March, April, May, June, July, August. That's five months. Yeah, you didn't just miss the event. That's yeah. Clem French event. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Five months. It, it, that's a fair amount of time. You missed it by a lot. <laughs> they'll do a rerun of it, though. I bet you they'll do a rerun of it. It feels bad. Oh, I bet you they'll do a rerun of it. Like you. Another chance will come around for you to get this gear. And um, I got to say, who knows? They might actually release like, I don't know. There's a bunch of other uh, ships like there, you, we might get a whole new ship that will be a lot better. Who knows? I would say, though, it's it's likely they're going to do a rerun of this of this event. And there's not, you know, using Queen Elizabeth is not the only way to clear 15-4. I just use her because eh, I'm trying to do this with faction fleets. I love using faction fleets. Maybe so much hope. Okay. Yeah. You, you will get this gear eventually. I have to say though um yeah using this fleet because like i've been trying to clear operation siren while using as little or spending as little on repairing the ships as possible because if you save all your um yeah if you save the currency in operation siren it becomes uh exchange points or um sh points for the exchange shop next month so that's why I'm using this fleet right now. Also, to be fair, I mean, it's good gear, but Queen Elizabeth still has been getting killed in World 15. <laughs> mm. How's this poll doing? Let's see, uh, Bremerton and Noshiro. Oh, there's only three folks. I'll just keep waiting.
Hmm. Check this poll one more time. Let's see that. Four votes. Bremerton? No sure. None for Helena. Surprising. Or a gear. Well, uh, from this poll, I can conclude at least we all think Bremerton will, at least for, for now, we all think Bremerton for sure is going to be a muse. <laughs> She's popular enough. I fly eagles. Mostly all of my rings are eagles. So Brim, Seattle, and Jersey on three on my account. Oh, okay. Brim, Seattle, and Jersey. Only three on my account. Oh, okay. Jersey's top. Yeah, Jer Jersey, like... Extremely good choice to oath. Brim won't be it because Baltimore is already won. You know, I could see that. I guess by popularity, we we all have high hopes for Bremerton. Yeah, I don't think they would do a sister ship though of one that's already a muse. Hmm. Well, No Shiro came in number two, so it looks like. Most of us think Noshiro is realistically going to get a muse. So, Noshiro. I love Seattle, so okay. Oh, okay. Huh. Most of us think Noshiro. <laughs> Bre Bre well, most of us think logically from when it comes to what we know of Azure Lane, Bremerton, but yeah. So far, that the fact that we already have Baltimore Muse means it's unlikely. So no Shiro, I would say, is the winner of this little game. This little polling vote. I know, lol. <laughs> I mean, anything's possible. But, yeah. You know, I'm surprised Bismarck didn't, like, none of, of y'all voted for Bismarck. So I'm like, Bismarck, I could still totally see Bismarck Muse. Yeah, this Mark Muse would be awesome. Or Turpitz or Graf Zeppelin, I think. But I didn't I didn't put them in the poll. Hmm. You know, yeah, Graf Zeppelin kind of counts as a yandere. 
Kind of, sort of. It's like I could sort of see her count. Think Seattle is one that does not deserve it, maybe. <laughs> um, you mean a muse or an oath ring? I would say I think now Seattle seems obsolete. Yeah, because I'm like, she does good damage herself, but, um, yeah, a lot of the, I don't know, she doesn't really have any, like, significant buffs to any other ships, I think. Yeah. I was like, now all the, all the really good ships, they do good damage, or they have a really good skill, or they have, like, some, they're, like, somewhere in between. It's, like, astounding damage have a really good team buff or somewhere in between the ring oh, i see yeah i mean seattle i have not i have not oathed my seattle but hey i mean if you i i oathed um i used one of the oath rings the first oath ring i i used on enterprise and then the second one i used on nelson and Nelson was terrible up until her retrofit. <laughs> he a Muse would be an oddball, but not a bad pick. Thinking of Party Girls, I like he he is one of my favorite waifus from Soccer Empire. Yeah, he a Muse would be very welcome. Fate Simulation 10 win. Ooh, you know, I think the next one in line for, at least the next you are in line for, or, yeah, the next you are, uh, PR ship in line for a fate sim would be a gear. Yeah, because Hakuri, you got hers. Man, so I wonder what a gear's fate sim would be like whenever that comes out. Party gals, where's my Nachi? Oh no, you did it. Be for the retro. You did it before. Yeah, I did it before the retro. And um, it was only the second oath ring I had. So, and there's like a couple oath rings you can sort you can get for free just through doing stuff in the game. And mainly, mainly um, knocking out uh, the three stars of certain campaign levels so that you can get the gems from them so i got two oath rings and i i, I got i was like i slapped one on enterprise first because i was like she's definitely getting one and then i had this other oath ring and it was really early in the game and i had knocked him out all early so i was like oh second oath ring well i'll just give it to nelson because uh, i liked nelson at the time but now i'm like that was probably i would yeah i would not have oath nelson if i had known all these other ships were going to come out. Also, Breast, you are Fate Sim 5. Pops. Oh, okay. Would they really give it to her before they gave it to Agir, though? Because Agir is PR4. Yeah, I would think Agir would get it first. Just a guess. And I bet a gear's fate sim will probably, probably be very powerful. A gear's already still powerful after you know however long she was introduced to go. So I'm like, her getting a fate sim would be incredibly awesome. Drake came before FDG. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Huh. I'm sorry, but you make me... F I am sorry, but you make me feel better about some of my mistakes, lol. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I wish I had not spent that oath ring on Nelson. <laughs> Yeah, hard, I hardly ever used her. I have made some mistakes playing Hale, to be fair. The one mistake I'm trying not to make right now is wasting gold parts. That to me is the most critical mistake, is not to waste gold parts on um, useless gear. And I found like the only way to for sure ensure that you do not waste gold parts on gear is save them all up for UR parts or UR UR uh, specific equipment. Yeah. Oh, the Z twenty three, no regrets. But. It was B for some of the best. So maybe not so bad. I guess you mean you're saying it must be for some of the best. Yeah, I took one of the, the two free oath rings you can technically get in the game, and I just gave I get that one I gave to Enterprise, probably the best oath ring I've ever used. Enterprise has got me through most of it, like so much crap in this game that that would kill a whole bunch of other ships. Totally worth it. Nelson, least used oath ship that I have oathed in this game. By far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hmm. I have both Kent and Pensacola oaths myself. Ooh. Okay, to be fair, Pensacola is at least top tier waifu material. I'm not really not i I don't care for Kent so much. Give my second rank to Unicorn. Carrying me early game is still today. You know, Unicorn is... Yeah, Unicorn's one of the best healers when you get... Yeah, I would say Unicorn... And, um... U Unicorn's one of the best healers you could get early in the game. <laughs> yeah. Those of you that just started and got um, got Guam and Laffy too, though, you guys are gonna have a way better time, way easier time clearing a lot of this content because, like, okay, when you get to World 12 and 13, that's when the anti-air starts getting serious. Yeah, I had to do all sorts of stuff to get through those levels or those worlds, but uh, with Guam and you know. Laffy too. You're gonna slice right through those worlds. Easy. Based, basted, long. Yeah, the the anti air heavy content. You're gonna slice right through that. Hmm. Or if you got a really good anti subber. In, for World 14, that'll help you a lot. But anti-sub is not as difficult to overcome as, you know, s impressive Sky Cancer. So much Sky Cancer in World 15 and and uh, 13. So much Sky Cancer. It's sort of like the best thing you could do is get Sandy and hold on for dear life. Retrofit Sandy, and then hold on for dear life. Pensacola is definitely wifey, ma wifey material. So is her sister. 
SLC. Yeah. Wait, what does SLC mean? But I understand, yeah, Pensacola and Arizona, top tier waifu material. Hellplane. Hmm. Salt Lake City. Oh, okay. Dang. Guam and Laffy 2 are stupid. I really don't like using them. I know I should, but feels like they rolled them out too fast. Ugh. You know, I would say this. If you're, um... It, it'll make clearing a lot of the game so much easier if you use them. But if you want to challenge yourself and just not use them, I mean, hey, totally understandable. Total, totally understandable, and you should do that. But yeah, Guam and Laffy 2 released together. I was like, man. This is like, that's um, since they're since they're like so heavily. They're they're basically immune to ant like to air attack. I'm like, yeah, these um, I was I was playing with them and I was like, yeah, these would have made World 13 so much easier to deal with when I was first clearing that place. I died so many times on World 13 when I first tried to clear it. Salt Lake City Punk, a great movie, underrated. Hmm. Salt Lake City in Pensacola in real life is super successful. Huh. For some reason, I'm thinking of Pennsylvania. Okay. It made 15, not a problem. I use Guam and Crossfleet, but Laffy see no use for me. Huh. Well, she is a very, very hard hitter in terms of damage. And her survivability is through the roof. Let's see, oh, I already read that. Okay. Video pause. I was like, where's my music? Okay, there we go. Pensacola had 13 battle stars, same as Cleveland. SLC had 12. Oh, okay. She is cray for PvP. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah.
Hmm. You know, Peter Strausser could also... Well, actually, they are, they're... Okay, Peter Strausser's artist, for one thing, changed her so radically from her original design. It would be like, I mean, I could see them getting a muse. Or see, see Peter Strausser getting a muse. But, uh, yeah. She went from, like, full-blown dummy mommy type to just... I don't know. Nice. She like went full blown dummy mommy type to nice, nice, innocent uh, girl next door, which I thought was too radical a change. But I mean, she looks nice. <laughs> But I go Anki Shimakaze in the new Jinsu meta for that spot. Okay. Hmm. Well, those are also very hard hitters. Hmm. All right. Well, we got nine votes. Looks like Bremerton is the technical winner of this poll, but yeah, I'd have to agree. The fact that we have uh, Baltimore already kind of rules her out. So no Shiro next. Helena and Aguirre also close by. I could see Honolulu. I'm going to count Helena as just the, the Brooklyn class representative of that poll because uh, she matched with Honolulu. See, which we all love, by the way, Dami Mommy. <laughs> yeah, like if you look at if you look at um, Peter Strausser's default skin, that is a dominant woman. <laughs> That's a that is a possible RR case right there. Is the gold 533 Oxtorp worth getting? Which one is that one? Let me see this. See, when you say Oxtorp, a whole bunch of, like, I'm like, there's a couple torpedoes that come to my mind. Okay, hang on a sec. I'm gonna wait until this is over and then go search through the uh excuse me oh dang it okay i'm gonna exit this pause okay Auxiliary Torpedo? Oh, the gold 5-3, the quad magnetic. Um, I'm guessing you mean these? <clears throat> okay, I, I would like you to be... Okay, could is it a quad or a quintuple, Nico H? Please let me know. I actually might have to end the stream soon. Damn. Okay, wait. You know what I could do? I could try one more auto clear with Queen Elizabeth in that configuration using the EVA gear. Let me see this. Auxiliary torpedo. The gold one?
dang, I'm the master of trying to get out of auto run at the, right when the fleet is about to jump into battle. You know, I say. So it's an auxiliary torpedo, like an auxiliary gear. But it has 533 millimeter, or 533 aux torp. Almost all 533 milliliters. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, I would say this. If you're talking about uh, something like this thing right here, I mean, okay, if you can get these, which I believe you can, these are these these are the just the better version. Can you get these? Was it here? Yeah, here you go. Uh, the core data. Yeah, I would. You're just gonna have to do the hard mode a couple times, or quite a few times actually. But you get these core data. Um, yeah, once you get these core data things, it'll be easy. You have one. <laughs> I have only one. Oh, are you talking about this thing? Oh, the, this thing. Okay, this is exclusively good for PvP. So, so it turns the first wave of torpedoes fired into acoustic torpedoes. But um, the thing is, if you put this on like Shimakaze and then give her some super high damage torpedoes, like, uh, like for example, her quintuple, um, you know, six hundred ten millimeter torpedo uh it'll still home and still have the tremendous damage so i would say if you're going to be exceed if you're going to be heavily involved in pvp or there's a very short battle where you need to throw in as much torpedo damage as possible against like a heavy armor enemy yeah this thing is useful niche useful but it's still useful if you can get one, you should. Okay. I'm going to try an auto now with Queen Elizabeth using this, this gear. Okay, let's see how she does. And I think I might have to end stream after this. <laughs> okay. Because this might be the difference in keeping her alive or uh, her just not getting out, no matter what I do. Maybe she actually is just two weeks to survive with 15. We'll never know. Actually, we'll know, but we'll, it's just gonna probably be very painful for Queen Elizabeth, who's going to have to find out firsthand. Which I am a poor account. Start at purple and work up more is always better, but sometimes it's not worth for the investment. You're talking about like spending money on AL or like, hmm. I don't know what work up more means. Start at the purple and work up more. When gem commissions don't give gems. Yeah, that happens quite a bit. Uh, the most I have gotten out of a gem commission though, uh, I got lucky and I got like 48 gems one time. That's the most I've ever gotten out of a gem commission. That one was quite nice. 
Yeah, the anti-air is just taking a toll on Queen Elizabeth here. She cannot compete. She needs either the anti-air radar or no bueno. Plates. <laughs> Actually, wait. I might not come out of this that bad. Maybe. Yeah, and Queen Elizabeth is still killing it. Yeah, only level up me torps to level 10. Saving on gold plates. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. I could have slapped the... Okay, I, I just realized something. I have a hydraulic steering gear at plus 13 that I could have given Queen Elizabeth. That, And the buffs she receives are also amazing that she can provide. Um... It's just the fact that she is the punching bag of the back line right now. Poor Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm definitely switching that out. As soon as I... Yeah. That would probably be the one thing that might actually seriously help Queen Elizabeth to survive. Sorry, sometimes purple is better because what it costs to upgrade is more than what it gives back. So maybe do good. Or... Maybe do put to mutt in to good gear before you know what is good. Yeah. I like effing around with blue gear, especially when it's the only version of set gear. <laughs> I remember the days of blue gear. Oh. Yeah. The days of blue gear when starting out. Hmm. I remember my first auto loader. <laughs> yeah, Queen Elizabeth almost recovered all that health now. Huh. Not bad.
Yeah, Queen Elizabeth seems just fine, actually. Well, dang. Yeah, if she can clear this, uh, that carrier fleet right there, when the time comes, win, win, win. And but she doesn't have an air search radar. Hmm. It's like so many wins. Oh wait, does Kumano ever appear in the merit shop? I check every day and she doesn't show up. Oh, uh, I believe she does, but uh, yeah, you don't get to choose when she shows up. Yeah. I think I've seen her in there though. Well, I have a max autoloader because of a vid that showed a good setup for Rodney Meta. Yeah, I actually, um, I have a max autoloader as well. Is there's actually quite a few ships that can take advantage of a good autoloader and squeeze out one more like airstrike or one more uh, gun salvo. And I say airstrike because on Kearsarge, I did use the autoloader on one of the meta bosses with her, and she was actually able to uh, squeeze out a whole other airstrike and it made her do more damage. I have a max. All right. Oh, I already read that. Okay. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Huh. At least their airstrikes are like distributed evenly between the back line. Of course, the, all the battleship rounds seem to just land squarely on Queen Elizabeth. gonna be close. Uh. Oh, they made it. Okay. Auto loader or not auto loader. Um see how I'm all thinking of the auto loader. The the Royal Navy AP shell and hydraulic steering it is. Winning combination. It seems. Because uh, that proves she can handle aircraft at her weakest point. Or th this fleet, I mean, can handle aircraft, but she can survive the aircraft. And if the, uh, if the aircraft are willing to distribute the damage between the whole back line, but battleships focus exclusively on Queen Elizabeth, that's a large argument for the hydraulic steering. Yeah. Clear choice. 
clear choice here. Now if I could just hand that one that I have on uh, Biloxi that's at plus 13 to her, that would be great. Even better. Luxie may not survive if I do that, though. Yeah, she's already struggling here. Maybe not struggling. She's below halfway. Below half. She is buffing independence just fine still. Oh, there we go. Not even a problem. Well... I saw her skill activated for herself there. Okay. That was one of the smoothest auto clears I've ever done. So now I'm going to switch. Yeah, you don't need that, Biloxi. There we go. Biloxi is going to get... Hmm. Okay, now I'll just slap one of the regular, uh, let me see, this one. There we go. Okay, most survivable Queen Elizabeth I can come up with here, this configuration. How much more is this? So, nine more EVA, seven, or twelve more health. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, in any case, I do have to go now. So, uh, this has been fun. I look forward to streaming more in the future. I had a great time. I hope y'all did as well. I'm just gonna make sure some of this, uh, you know, tie up some loose ends here. So I can just forget about the game and let it play itself. All right. Well, yeah, I guess that's the end of the stream. Um, as always, I would like to wish you Shiki Cons a farewell and following seas. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And uh, take it easy, everybody. Be seeing you around. Wait, hang on a second. How is the chat not rolling on my phone, but it's still rolling here? Okay, wait, I'm, I'm gonna read the rest of these and then peace out. Let's see. So, Lo, I have a max all over because of, oh, do you do meta fights and what is your Rodney setup fleet? If so, remember OG that there hit carrier mechanic happening. I do remember that, yeah, the stealth thing. Let's see, James Young, hey all, hey OG, how's your day? You just jumped in as I was leaving. <laughs> Dang. Oh, I'll have another stream. I'll have another stream again. I will see you again, James Young. See. Remember when autoloaders were able to be equipped to on CVs? I remember. Yeah. Chapter 15. Let's go. Pepperidge Farm. Reverse. You're not using Queen Elizabeth accessory. Oh, I am using it, but I'm using it on Dido. James Young. Okay, let me go back to my thing. I will. I will indulge you guys with this okay um this is better when it's used on dido or maybe any other royal navy ship besides queen elizabeth because then she gets a damage boost and a heal on top of her heal and all right peace later peace all all right later day at work brother it's all good all right take it easy everybody and uh good night <laughs>